takes flight And I'm floating six feet from the ground Is your tongue tied? Your heart isn't making a sound On the day, dear When you return to the saddle of The hardware is out, and it's Championship Sunday here at the Scotties Tournament of Hearts, as someone will be crowned a winner tonight in Charlottetown, PEI. And history will be made tonight at the Civic Center. We're just waiting for what type of history? Will it be Team Saskatchewan winning that province's first Scotties since 1997, when Sandra Schmerler did so, as his team is led by Amber Holland, or... Will it be Team Canada and Jennifer Jones winning their fourth consecutive Scotty's title? That hasn't been done since Colleen Jones earned that beat. Vic and company are standing by. Hi, everybody. I'm Brian Mudrick. And every time this time of year, Jennifer Jones, no one has been better. But a very big change in the roster. Kathy Overton Clapham no longer here. And that means tonight, Caitlin Laws, for the first time ever, will make her Scotty's debut in a championship final game. And this is how we got to this point. In the 1-2 game, it was Team Canada beating Saskatchewan, moving on to the final tonight. And then Amber Holland had to beat Ontario in that semi-final. And now, we're here again. A rematch of the 1-2 game. Canada, Saskatchewan, with much more. Here is Vic Roder. Brian, thank you. Hello, Canada. Linda Russ alongside. You're right, this will be game three of the week for these two teams. It was a week ago early in round robin that Saskatchewan won quite handily, but then in that 1-2 uh, game, Team Canada won it in an extra end. Now, Amber Holland says that she learned a lot from being here a year ago and missing the playoffs, gaining some experience, but no one has more experience than the lady at the end of that Team Canada train there. That's Jennifer Jones. Jennifer Jones has had an amazing record in the playoffs. You just can't believe the string of wins, but folks, it has not been easy. When you look at all the comebacks she's had to make, including in the Page game against Saskatchewan, last year's final against PEI, stealing the extra end, a tiebreaker in 2009, or she wouldn't have made any further, stealing two ends and then 2008 stealing in the extra end in the semi and the 10th end in the final she needs a faster start russ hammer is great though she's got it this year and she can make the big shot hammer's the difference from this game to the game yesterday but uh, jennifer has a habit of making the big shot at the right time and no better example than in the game yesterday against saskatchewan big trouble early in this end has to get this not only by the guard, but keep it in front of the T-line, otherwise she gives up a double to Saskatchewan. Sweep it perfect, just stops in time, leads to a steal of two. If you talk about Saskatchewan, you have to think the nerves are with this team. Amber Holland, though, has had an all-star kind of week. It's been terrific. And she's had big numbers in her games. If you talk about round robin play against Team Canada, yeah, she had a wonderful game. Shot after big shot and big numbers posted at 83%. In the semifinal against Ontario, that same number, the dip that was against Canada in the 1-2 page playoff game. She was forced to a lot of tough shots in the second half for us. She didn't bail out early enough because you give her a shot and she'll make it. She certainly will. She made five rocks to the button against Ontario to win that game. But what impresses me more than that is her hitting ability. She can throw the high hard one, make it stick. She made a really thin double early in the week. But here's a great example. What I like even better is to control the speed of her rocks. Hard enough to make the double, soft enough to hang around. If Amber keeps doing that, she could be the Canadian champion. So it is Team Canada against Saskatchewan with the winner going on to represent our country at the Women's Worlds in Denmark.
they're playing great as a team, and Amber's making a lot of great shots for extra points. So we're going to have to play tough today, and from lead to skip, they're shooting lights out, and we're going to have to do the same. It's been a while since our last win from Saskatchewan, with when Sandra did in 97, but I think that's okay. We're going out there as much for ourselves as Saskatchewan, and, and we're pretty proud and happy to be playing that for Saskatchewan as well. We love having the last rock in the first end, and we'll try to go for it early and try to get an early lead and see if we can defend. We know that the first end there will probably be a few more rocks in play and they're going to try to get their deuce early and we're just going to try to force them to run. The 2011 Scotty's Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by Sponge Towels Paper Towels. Nothing absorbs like it. Often high cholesterol problems begin in the head where advice about healthy eating is ignored. Observe as this man displays no reaction to the broccoli, while with hot dogs... But what you can't see is that high cholesterol is a risk factor for heart disease. New Danicol from Danone contains plant sterols. Plant sterols help reduce cholesterol. Find out more at danicol.ca. Danicol, proud supporter of life-saving heart and stroke foundation research. Days like this, when we're patrolling offshore, I feel like I found my place. Avoiding obstacles, detecting danger, that's my job. I always thought I'd be working near the ocean, but here, I can see underwater. Scotty's, proud supporter of women's curling for 30 years. And to celebrate our 30th anniversary, we're giving away 30 pairs of sparkling diamond earrings. The Diamond Anniversary Sweeps Contest. Enter online at scotties.ca for your shot to win. insurance company or sell insurance they choose the best insurance with you taking care of everything so you can sleep easy your best insurance is an insurance broker the 2011 Scotty's tournament of hearts is brought to you by m m meat shops hundreds of meal ideas one aisle by Tim Horton's premium blend coffee always 20 minutes fresh and by Ford official automotive partner of the Canadian Curling Association. The team shaking hands before they start throwing stones at each other here in front of a, a lively house at the Civic Center in Charlottetown. Let's meet the teams that will play for this year's Scotty's title. Brought to you by Tim Horton. Celebrate 25 years of roll up the rim to win Team Canada out of the St. Vital Curling Club in Winnipeg. Skipped by Jennifer Jones with Don Askin, Jill Officer, and Caitlin Laws throwing third. The Saskatchewan champions from the Chrono Curling Club southeast of Regina. Amber Holland along with Heather Kalinchuk. Tammy Schneider has been injured. We'll watch her banged up knee and elbow and Kim Schneider at the third position. Saskatchewan was best all week, but because of the win in the 1-2 game, Team Canada has 
the hammer. So they have the red stone. Saskatchewan has the yellow. And you heard the comment from Amber Holland. She knows there's going to be rocks in play right from the get-go. And let's get it going now with the Saskatchewan lead. Heather Kalinchuk. Not moving yet. It's always interesting when you talk about how to start a game, how to be your best, and it just seems maybe for Jennifer Jones that after all those playoff games, you, you get a little uh, almost flat. You're not as energized and ready to go, and that would be my only concern because once they get going, they're like a, an engine that just keeps rolling down the track. Absolutely, and uh, it, it seems to take three or four ends. You wonder if they need to get them here an hour earlier or something, but uh, uh, at the uh, end of all these big pressure games, they've come through time and time again. And this is the difficulty. This is the matchup we'll be watching because Don Askin traditionally plays terrific shots, guards, and come arounds. And that puts a lot of pressure on Heather Kellenchuk for the Saskatchewan so. team. No, no, no. I think you can clean it though. It looks close. It's all there, Jen. I know. It just looks close. Really, yeah, it's really close. Yeah. <laughs> 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 a girl. Great, great That's one, one. And really close it is, stopping <laughs> just in front of the rings. Anyone. So, Russ. I know I think back, but how much is that year's difference for Saskatchewan, having been there last year in the Sioux, missing the playoffs at six and five, but now here again? Is it as simple as them playing well enough to be first overall? No, I, I think it's it's just experience. You can't put a, you know, if you could bottle it and sell it, uh, you'd be a millionaire. Uh, the experience is, is a key factor. You're playing the best teams in the world. How do you get to that last level? and uh, you need that experience. And the first time here, um, we, we saw Rachel Holman kind of uh, dispute the rumor and go 8-3, uh, but they did lose both their playoff games, and it, it takes time, it just does. You can, you can be good, but you also have to be smart. Well, look at uh, Kalinchuk responding right away, Linda. Well, it'll be interesting to see, because in our opinion, Jennifer Jones, the most aggressive skip in the field, is gonna put a lot of pressure, putting guards out, playing come arounds. Now, the first rock was deep for Saskatchewan, so instead of Both going playoffs. back to the middle, they cut Both off the come around with right their own come around. Now. Yellowstone top eight. Perfect Line position, on, but now you're going to be faced with some angles here on the Whoa. corner. It's up to Dawn and the rest of the team, Whoa. though, for Canada to yeah. try and get those good Line angles and set up a Whoa. deuce. Yeah, even though that's a wonderful come around, look what can happen here now with a okay, beauty Don. from Dawn. Get that back Line a little up. bit, create an angle. There's no rocks in the middle to do, uh, hurt Jennifer Jones' last shot and a chance to play around the corner. She does fine. bump it back. Shooter right. rolls out into the open Ten. top edge of yep. the eight foot. Let's go, you got this. Right down the lineup, it will be demanding on the Saskatchewan team because of rocks in play and Little because friend. it is relatively Please. straight. So if you've got any nerves and you've got any extra kick from the hack, these Please. kind of hits, the quiet weight yep. ones, have to Please. be thrown with the right weight. Curling it. Oh, he it got up to the nose. Very nice. <laughs> Nine and a half. Okay. You got it, Joe. Joe did struggle a bit in that page playoff game. No. First half and second what? half were like two different games. No, Saskatchewan right controlling the first half and then the big comeback by Team Canada. Okay, Joe. Usually the mistakes were a hair heavy, and uh, That's fine, same though. thing there, but at least that opens up the corner. So That's that not that bad at all. I don't know, was that? No, I thought it was fine. I thought it was okay. <coughs> I thought it was okay. You like there now? Sure. Mind that? I'm still thinking 90 is probably pretty close. Yeah, 85, yeah. Okay, let's go. Might be tempted to peel off that guard instead amber is going to put it in the forefoot what she's hoping to do is get it in a position where it shot rock over anything on the other side that he's played behind that corner. come in a bit now no no seven eight whoa whoa you heard brian say earlier this is a, a great opportunity for saskatchewan to win a women's title for the first time in a while i think it's even longer for men brian you know, Vic, it's been a great start, as you know, for curling in Saskatchewan. Both the boys and girls won national junior titles and are overseas right now getting ready for their worlds. I talked with Jolene Campbell, their fifth before the game. All of these women watched Sandra Schmerler win that national title for Saskatchewan back in 1997. Yeah! 
they say it would be huge to win another one for that province. Jolene added they've had some great support thus far from back home. Over 100 emails telling them to bring one home for that province. She also mentioned considering how things have gone for the Saskatchewan Rough Riders the last two years, <laughs> this would be great for that province. And they have a lot of support back home urging them on. Vic. Jolene Campbell, who is the uh, fifth player, even longer, as I mentioned, for Saskatchewan men. Of course, you have to go back to uh, Rick Folk back in 1980. Pat Simmons will try and end that streak Clean. when the men gather for the Clean. Tim Hortons Briar Clean. next weekend. Yep, we'll begin on Saturday yep, in London, yep. Ontario. Clean. Yep, stay on Clean. it. Yep. Throw yep, a little together. header. Yep, yep, yep. Good. Great execution by Saskatchewan and keeping the rocks in the open exactly what they want to do and they have enough rocks in the house at this stage it could force Team Canada to the single. It's Caitlin taking an extra minute trying to find a bit of oxygen. <laughs> now the one player on Team Canada without the experience in women's play definitely has it in yeah. junior play but yeah. this arena is a different environment. Oh. So much attention on this young lady, Caitlin Look at that. And not quite. As it does stay for shot stone, back eight. Don't have much, eh? Nine. That is very. Let's go, Kim. Ninety for me. I can't tell you what that does to somebody's confidence in this situation. First time, as Vic said, all the attention all week, all month. To make a little hit and roll like that, your first shot ever in a final, that's huge. Line's a little tight. Seven. Okay. Line's not bad. Line's not bad. Hit and room. Yep, line. Hard line. Hard line. Hard line. Hard line. Hard line. Really busting at the corner. Hard Hard really busting at it. Oh, what great rushing. Wonderful brushing, Callan Chuck and Tammy Schneider to bring it down Great on the face. <laughs> Boy, that just gets by, and really, in anything over curls a little bit, Linda. They might be able to poke this sideways and sit too. Great shot. A great brushing to get it by and to sit for shot rock. It is Caitlin trying the angle freeze. Line's good, wait only. And when we talk hard, about great hard. brushing, you gotta go. These are two of the best Jill really officer hard. on the left, Don Askin. And again, you gotta go. You can hear Jennifer Jones. You gotta go. One more time. Now it's their chance. Did they? No, they didn't. Good to see you guys. Okay, I thought it was full. Shoot, sorry guys. It's okay. Well, yeah. I suppose. It looked wider. I heard Caitlin's comment. It thought it was full, yeah. which means a little bit wide of the broom. Shoot. It looked wider halfway down, and uh, we, we talked yeah, like yesterday like about uh, the Red Rocks possibly curling a little more than the yellow. Yeah, that, yeah. we just don't want to sign off on that red. Right? I love that 10, the 10. The 10. Hey, I like it. You had it here? Yep. Okay, hey, let's go. You got it. With 10, then? Okay. We throw under okay. kind of jams, so nose isn't off. It leaves the double slash, but I think she's losing her back one. Okay. Okay, let's go. Ten. Okay. There you go. And she's made six doubles in the playoff. Amber Holland and a number of key draws. Big shot after big shot. Amber Easy. Holland and the first Easy. skip star of Team Canada playing the Red Rocks does have the hammer here in the first. It's the championship well, well. final of the 30th edition of the Scotties. Right there is where she wanted to sit. That was a little down. <laughs> it is interesting, Russ, in a week where we have talked more and more about the weight needed to make a shot and so many 
shots being overthrown and shooters being lost. Amber Holland, the weight she throws is is perfect. I mean, it's just not too much. Not too, she just knows exactly what's needed. Absolutely, I, I love the weight. It's uh, it's <clears throat> one thing to make the doubles and one make to make the run back, but you have to control that shooter. And with the weight she throws, gives it to her sweepers every time. She's always close where she rolls with that shooter. And even in this case, she hung around, and that's half the battle. There is a thin double opportunity here. Just the way they're set up, just a oh. fraction off center. If you hit that yep. back red, yellow, that's frozen on the red, well, thin enough, yeah. it will go out sideways and save two red. 71% in the one-two game. Who cares? They won in an extra. Going to get them? Yeah, well, she split it around. Oh, she gets it by. There's no jam at the back. Is it stopped? Yes, it does. And so for the moment, Canada, with the last rock, is sitting two. Great call, Caitlin. Uh, talk about weight, weight control, Linda. Oh, perfect. There was a lovely tick. Amber didn't think the shot was easy without disturbing the red, but it is with that quiet weight that you can make it. Can you move it over here? Do you mind the tissue? So on two, but I still think we play the freeze, hey? Okay. There are two okay, options. You hit perfect. second shot, concede the deuce, yeah. basically, yeah. or you play the freeze fine. and try and take away the end. Well, this shows a lot of confidence, unless oh, it's missed, fine. and then people are going to say it's the wrong call. It, uh, you could yeah, hit the right open one, give up yeah, a potential sure. two, but if you lock one in here, it's a chance to force to one. So what are we here? Four to two. Okay. Let's go. Should be quick, going a little wider than Caitlin did, so there could be some pebble. Final stone for Saskatchewan, Need drawing against a couple. Needs to move. I'm pretty good. Needs to move. Needs to move. Needs to move a lot. There it Can goes. It? Yep. Challenge Chuck now. There it goes, they said. Tammy Schneider picking it up as well. Room. Room. By the Room. guard first. Whoa. And then just locking it on no, those no, two no, no. stones. Can't bounce. Oh, you got you. oh boy. Go, 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 go. And there's a little rub and roll off. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. Okay. Out there. That's unfortunate. You know, but when I they said, good. there it goes, maybe they didn't wait long enough. It was just the brushers have there. to say, Vic, if it's got enough weight, they have to oh, say, don't want to, or some indication about the I weight, back to the, the house, way. back to Kim, yeah. and then she can make the choice about the brushing. Yeah. That's a huge here, mistake. Okay. Was it ever the, uh, yeah. They seemed to get ex ex fixated on the uh, actual line, and Kim kept calling for line, and nobody bothered to throw at the fact that it was a couple feet heavy. Two slight errors uh, rolling in the spot she did with her first one, set up uh, that beautiful shot by Jennifer and a chance for three. Yep. She puts pressure on your yep. right from yep. the yep. first stone. Jennifer Please. Jones Please. and Team Please. Canada. That's okay. Had a girl, nice throw. Out the back for three right for there. Team Canada here in the first. in the TSN Sports Center newsroom. We'll get you back to the Scotties in just a minute, but first, here are some of the stories we are working on for the next edition of Sports Center coming up after curling. Leafs Thrashers first period, 1-0 Toronto. Phil Kessel on the rush, moves in, scores on the rebound. His 26 made it 2-0. It is currently 2-1. Now Devils and Panthers scoreless in the second. David Clarkson bangs home the rebound. He's got his ninth, but New Jersey in front 2-0. Lightning and Rangers all tied at one in the third period. Tampa on the power play. Vinny LeCavalier rifles a one-timer pass. Henrik Lundqvist, his 15th of the season, was the game winner. Tampa wins it 2-1 the final. And the Blackhawks have made it official. Their multi-year extension with Brent Seabrook for five years worth $29 million. We'll have much more coming up on the next edition of SportsCenter. 10 Eastern following the Scotties Tournament of Hearts. Have a good time. We'll see you on SportsCenter, everyone.
Yeah, so apparently the engineers who built the new 2011 F-150 just got back from a road trip to the future with a new truck engine, okay? It's a bit of high-tech genius called EcoBoost with stuff like direct injection and piston cooling jets. It kicks out power and fuel economy. Try 420 pound-feet of torque and from our pals in Ottawa, an estimated 31 highway miles per gallon. That's Eco and Boost. We got both, they don't. This is the future. This is the new F-150. Before I got my Capital One Aspire card, I was buying everything at gas stations just to get bonus miles. Looking good. Stuff for special occasions. Oh, wiper blade for you. The holidays. Even parties. Happy birthday! But now, thanks to Aspire, I get two reward miles for every dollar on everything I buy. The new Capital One Aspire card. Earn two reward miles for every dollar spent on everything you buy. Visit CapitalOne.ca. What's in your wallet? sponge towels so absorbent it's the sponge pockets sponge towels nothing absorbs like it final stone he needs the button kevin cooey now it's carter right on the right nolan Thiessen. who's got the button have they got the button alberta's got the button and the tim As we walk you back to the uh, Civic Center here in Charlottetown, 3 0 Canada. I was really surprised, uh, Linda Russ. I thought the way the first few rocks were played, and particularly by Saskatchewan, I thought they were going to have that perfect situation of a force of one. Well, yeah, you, you, I said it earlier, and uh, I guess I'll say it again. The uh, You start playing around the corner without hammer, uh, albeit they made some nice shots, but uh, the whole end, the Canada has the chance with no risk. And Caitlin uh, made an unbelievable hit and roll buried. Just overswept that last one of Amber's, and a, a, a great double by Jennifer and Bingo. And uh, you play around that corner, it just doesn't always pay off. And then it was just Good. mistakes Good. really Good. on even lining up the shots for Amber, looking at her first one and thinking it was safe and it wasn't. Yep, right. Missed the angle. Right. And then the conversation on the second one about not being deep, about the spot being played before, maybe the weight's a little bit faster. And just being really locked in. If you're gonna take that risk, if you're not gonna Make hit sure the open one and say, take your two, I'm getting it back Line's next in. You have anything. to be oh so sure about it. Make sure you're tight. Yeah. Got a curl too, guys. Keep it's her going. The line's gonna over curl. Just sweep her tight. It's real tight now. Clean it. Really tight. It looks heavy. But long. the very best oh, time no, no, to be down three nothing is after the first. So uh, oh, lots really of game tight. left. Oh, oh, oh. Beauty. And you're not going to get them out. all back at once. <laughs> so you can chip away, chip away, chip away, which leads us to our trivia. And what is the most points scored in a single end of a Scotty's final? I don't think I've ever seen an eight. Bit of room yet. Line's it's getting more better. than three, though, Line's so good. this wouldn't be it. Maybe we can wait till five. Okay, could move a bit. Could still move a bit. There it goes. You're good if you need to go. Oh, yeah. Go, go, go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good. And would you agree that has to be the mindset of of Amber Hall and there is, you, you, you're not going to get them all back, obviously, at, the eight. At, at once. You look for the single, you look for the deuce, then you force and you, you, you take that mindset, do you? Oh, absolutely. This is trying to set up a two. She's taking risk. She put up the corner, ignoring a rock in the button area. So she's definitely going for the extra point. Well, but she eight. has to be so aware of that bailout now. point we well, talked about before the game. Yeah, because Jill Officer and the rest of this team can continue to apply Wait. pressure this yeah, end. You right cannot here. give up a steal. We're, we're still tee. We'll back floor. Yeah. Back floor. A little deep here. Back, 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 back,
Well, that is one thing about Jill. We pointed out her lower numbers. Hey, 70% oh, in that one two game and had a lot of deep draws and even her hits may be a little up on the weight and they went very straight. You like that? It's not bad, yeah. I don't mind that. 10? Okay, let's go. The only problem with this one is you better save it because you're uh, opening up your own rock and uh, I don't think uh, Team Canada will waste too much time picking that one off. Clean. Relax. Yep. 11. Yep. yep, then. Yep. Hard. Whoa. 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 Yep. 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 Hard. Hard. Hard, Kim. Hard. Go, 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 hard. Go, 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 Hard, 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 hard. That's good. Okay. Rolls it over to cover the edge of the four. So what is the most points scored in a single end of a Scotty's final? I'll say seven. Well, it happened oh. against a I'll team I was playing. We got five. Huh. <laughs> Nine and a half. Wait up a little. It's yeah. up. It's up. Yeah. A nice way to start a game, I must admit. No hard. kidding. Really hard. You had to give up hammer, though. Real hard. Hard, <laughs> hard, hard. Oh, oh, she oh, runs it by. <laughs> Oops, sorry, Andrew. She'll offers her. Avoids the jam to sit two. In fact, sit three. There's again. a stone at the back of the 12. There is Vic. Now, yeah, it's not all bad for Amber. The risk she took in opening up was leaving that shot. But it's not a very far roll for Tammy to get in behind cover. Clean and there is a double yep. corner yep, now yep. in position. Yep. Hard. 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 Gotta go. Hard. Whoa. 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 Yep. 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 <laughs> There's the jam on the stone in the forefoot. Avoids the jam on the stone at the back. Well, they wanted to go in behind cover, or at least jiggle both of the reds, because now Caitlin has a hit and roll to cut off that corner guard. Just a half and half situation. Leave the one in the forefoot just fully open. Yeah, this ball. just fully open, and it ball. makes it tougher yeah. for Saskatchewan. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh, not quite. <laughs> not much of it. Yeah. So once again, sit three. Good. Another Nine nice roll by Caitlin. Let's go, Kim. The I double's like, well, there, but I don't think they can roll Barry, can they? Doesn't appear so. <clears throat> Big shot, it's late enough in the end. You want to move that one yep. closest to the button. Well, easy. Yep. Kim yep. Schneider as we play yep. third stone. Yay! Clean. Okay, Kim. Good. Good job. And they do. Schneider makes the double. Gets the stone off the far foot and leaves two Saskatchewan stones to be bumped up if needed. <laughs> Well, that's the key. Yeah. Remember earlier, Amber moved a rock Where off the front. The yes, she opened it up for the other team to get her rocks out. But now when you survey that house, there's not much risk. It's wide open. And if this rolls away, there's a yellow tap yes. up or come around. Hard. Really hard. Hard. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Must be whoa. up. Heavy? No. no. Clean. Just clean. Whoa. No. Just clean. No. 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 Easy. OK, Caitlin. My fault. She rolls it away. <laughs> Here's the chance, just as Linda said it. But the nice thing oh, for back. Team Saskatchewan is when they're playing those run backs are hanging around, and this is the yeah, chance. Here. And then, so like an 85? Yep. 80? For back eight? Okay, let's get let's this. Go. They're playing the split. Mine's a little tight. We're a little yeah. quiet. Yep, then. Wait, scree, back eight. Yep, gotta go line. Hard line. Hard nine. line. Nine. Really Whoa. hard, you got it. Ten. Just the yep. second yep, yep, end of Helen Chuck and Tammy Snyder is doing a lot of rushing. Go, 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 go,
gets there for shot. In fact, second shot is also Saskatchewan with the hammer here in the second. Pretty hard to hit that. It's yeah. like a quarter rock. <laughs> Very nice, and the uh, like the other yellow is virtually dead buried. So, so. yeah, I don't think it's going to do very much. Here. I put mine back, so it ran a little straight. Yeah. <laughs> the doubles there. That has to be a uh, feel away for sure. Okay. I think Amber was hoping that the open yeah, one would roll a little roll. deeper okay. than the hidden okay. one, so the double Perfect. wasn't there. There could have still been a hit and roll. There is a double. It's got at least it for shot. Right now she's just coming around again. Okay. I got nothing of that one on the floor. So the shot stone that's sitting covered, you heard Jennifer Jones say, I've got nothing. Yep. Jones in her first Hard. and picked up right away. Bangs it okay, right on the nose. Takes out her own stone Sorry, at the back okay. of the 12. It's interesting. This was Sorry, a tendency guys. we saw in playoff games for Jennifer. Yeah. The fact that she was a little inside on that same Sorry, turn, that yeah. out turn over and over. So looks like she's sliding a little left okay. on that side of the sheet, not getting out to the broom, just sliding yeah. tight with her body. And then, of course, when you let it go, the rock just rolls there. right over. Came around. That was all. Sorry. That's, okay. yeah, now that's so. something, Vic, you've seen that no. a couple of times. If you're Saskatchewan, you want to keep that in mind. You can't always get her forced into that shot, but you plant that in your mind. Okay. So going around their corner again, Maybe are they? 14. It looks with this ice that they're playing the outturn okay. around the Let's reds, go. which is uh, a little bit dangerous, Linda, because that can be dragged in a lot of different directions. Um, well, I was going to say that because of that stagger, doesn't that make it a... A good thing? It does, Vic, but right now it's uh, covering, if you raise it, it's covering part of the eight foot, so you almost have to go back 12 to stop a double raise here, which uh, isn't ideal either. Needs to be in front of T. Clean it. But they're just trying to keep it on top, top eight foot, I think. And yep. That will re leave a roll, however. Good. <laughs> and she does draw a top eight. Just nibbling at the four foot to sit two Saskatchewan Anyways. trying to get themselves back in. They gave up three in the first. Over there a little further. Sorry, yeah. curl a bit. Okay, Don, let's make the roll here. Yeah. You gotta stick biting the eight foot. Okay, let's go. Good in. Make the roll. I think Amber was hoping to get that a tiny bit tucked, maybe take away this turn, playing the intern now and trying to get the roll behind the reds. Yep. Final oh, stone here in two oh, four, Jennifer no, Jones uh, and Team Canada. Right off. Right off. Never, ever, 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 ever. Okay. Sorry, Jen. And catches enough to push it out in the back. Sorry. Loses yeah, the shooter. And it will yeah, be a draw for there, two so for Saskatchewan yeah. here in the second. Straight there. I don't think we need to really jump anything either. And if you are okay. Amber Holland, you couldn't ask for much more. Anyway, take. Well, I like the plan this end. There was no panic. They did move things around yeah, in the front. Did let the opposition hit some rocks, but Same it thing. took yeah, five, and finally Amber got a one that she that's needed cool. in behind cover, and that set up the deuce. <laughs> Great split Sorry. by Kim. No. Nice well. Eight foot. In fact, just bite the white for two. Easy. Oh. Look like way more. This is no, a huge no, no. point. Not even a lot more. No. It's fine, you guys. And fine it is. Back home. The Saskatchewan picks up a couple. Looking for a men's solution for dandruff control? Wow, you had it coming. Garnier.
Honey Fruit Tiss Anti Dandruff Shampoo. Fast acting dandruff control. Brewed for men only. What brought you to eHarmony? Whatever the eHarmony system or the scientific formula, I never had that instant connection with anyone else. Never. Never. Ever. Never, ever, 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 ever. <laughs> <laughs> Review your matches free at eHarmony.ca. for a chance to win $100,000 in the White Ice Challenge. Brought to you by Odyssey Golf. Win a trip to the Tim Hortons Briar in London and putt on the curling ice during the semifinal for all the money. Go to whiteicechallenge.curling.ca to enter. Mary Dobbin has been curling for three weeks. She has never really been accurate. But on the last rock of the last end of her Monday night women's league, she makes her first raise to the button purpose yeah that's right she called it she made it and today for this one moment mary bullseye dubbin feels like a pro what will your great moment be me and you and you and me no matter how they toss the dice it has to be the only one for me is you and m and m and you so happy together The Keg's Winter Grill menu is now on. With even more delicious steaks than ever. Like our 20-ounce T-bone. So come in and try something new. Only until March 6th. Nothing feels like cashmere. largest coast-to-coast -coast mover, AMJ Campbell, has been moving households and offices locally and internationally since 1934. As the most trusted movers in Canada, AMJ Campbell is your source for your home, office, or do-it-yourself move. At AMJ Campbell, we treat your possessions like they're our own. AMJ Campbell is the only moving company that you can pay on your Sears card to earn Sears Club points. Thinking of moving? Call AMJ Campbell. If there are moments in a game that you remember if you should win, this could be a key shot. It's a great shot by Kim Schneider. It took leads and seconds walks to move things around, get some room in the house, and then it's a nice split. It certainly is, because it wasn't just a split to the rings. They had to get both rocks virtually in the eight foot to try to sit two. Not only did they split them, they bury one of them, roll out far enough to sit the two, and that set up the deuce. The key shot is brought to you by Cashmere Bathroom Tissue. Nothing feels like cashmere on a sunday night in charlottetown it's the final a 30th edition of the scotties team canada with the hammerback leading by one three two and playing the red stones okay don good after that last end i said to you russ that's when you look at the scoreboard if you're amber yeah. holland and say i wish i'd hit the open one and one <laughs> i'd be tied now but still down one so we'll see so. how much amber pushes the buttons here First one out in front by Saskatchewan and a nice come around as expected by Don Askin to the top four. Room. My hair tight. Got some room. Four four. Okay. Line's not bad. Line is pretty oh. good. Go if you need to. Yep. You gotta go four. Yep. Go. Hard line. Hard line. Hard for line. Three. Go, 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 go. Hard for line. You can get it here. Go. Hard. Go, go, go. Good season, guys. Oh boy, the Schneider sisters drag it there. Actually, over curls. And they were calling out a three or a four. That would have been short of top 12. They got it all the way to the freeze position. A little bit of an angle, though, left. And Jennifer's going to try and exploit that. Whoa! 
And that's how precise the curlers are nowadays. You throw it 146 feet and you're dead perfect speed, but it overcurled by a couple of inches. And that's the hardest part of this ice with the late finish is getting that right line. Yep, yep, yep. Hard, hard. Go behind it. Go, go, go. Okay. <laughs> you, saw, you said she added at the end? I yeah. missed that again. Yeah, I don't mind getting a little inside, even if you move that a bit. Okay. Move ours, yeah. Ten. Okay. Let's go, Tammy. You got it. So unusual to see Dawn Askren play a shot that bounces and leaves the open hit. Could freeze in here again, but there's nothing wrong with this, as long as they don't set up a yellow double. No. No. Yep. 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 Roll away. Plan B, rolling away. Yep. Roll, roll. Okay. Show more weight than they had expected. It wasn't bad. It was just bigger than her other ones. <coughs> Closer to 11. Dawn was a little too strong on her draw. And remember, last end, Jill had too much weight. Let's see how they can recover from those misses and get it to freeze to the yellow. Better, but still no, bouncing. No, not even. Yep, go, Don. No, no. Okay, Tammy. Okay, Tammy, let's go. Okay, we're faster than five. Still like that? Yeah, okay. one more that is too Tam. strong. A little less, less weight, weight or ice? Well, I'll give you less ice and I need less weight. Okay. <laughs> that was just a hair firm. Yeah, it was just like a 9 7. Let's go. Inside the hill, as we mentioned before, the ice Rainbow. is a little bit dished, so yep. in this area, it's not going to curl much till yep. very late in the game. Yep. Yep. Should be able to hold it with sweeping. Quick! Hard. Quick! Hard. Got it by, and now she'll roll over and sit on the corner. Shot stone is Team Canada. They do have the last rock here in three, <laughs> but there's a couple of stones sitting right in front. just bumped that yellow one an inch or two farther. This shot's not available, but with the weight that Jill Officer can throw, you might lose your red one, but both these yellows will fly. Yeah! Really Boy, hard. Right out of her hand. Really Laws hard. Askin, get hard. it by that one first. No. Okay. And they'll catch the other Saskatchewan Probably stone and the 12 footers they go by. They knew right away, didn't they? Yeah, she was inside. She is struggling, actually, when we mentioned the numbers from the 1-2 game. The brushers did all they could, but inside out of her hand, and with that speed, uh, once it's inside, it's just, you can't even brush it enough to hold it. Hard to keep up to it. Yeah. Yeah. So you can see the body's a little twisted, and I think she was trying to get it back and did not manage to kick the other yellow out. Smart to miss it the right way, though, at least. And Kim Schneider. Hard on that roll, Heather. Roll, roll, roll. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. And they'll roll it away. No more red in the house. All yellow. Rolling in front. Can you do like an around the horn? Can't hear what you're saying. Can you hit this one and spin up or no? Hey, which one? This one? No. This one. Yeah, this will spin up. Yeah. But it won't spin. You'll miss it. Okay. That's These are right. even. Okay. Kind of like that. Okay. Okay. Ten. Around the horn, getting all three. Is that what she was asking about? She was. It's hard to see from the other end. A long distance and not a great angle to the shots. Yeah. Caitlin oh. Laws. Okay, 
to try it. They held the line to bang it on the nose. Okay. The nose is fine, Kim. Hey. Okay. Don't forget the plan you mentioned last half, end, Vic. Good. You fall behind early. You give up three in the first cool. end. So the plan is get two with the hammer, force the single. And that's why they're liking this end. Rocks in the rings, no guards out in front, and more than one in the house trying to keep two at least to force that point. Well, firm nine four. Okay. Clean and clean. Easy. Clean. Nine two even. Clean. Oh, no, no, no. Yep. Yep. Big roll. Yep. Going yep. to come up? Yes. And there's the roll. And we're sitting in front now. They're still sitting with three. With them grouped like this, is this advantage for Team Canada, Russ? Not really. Well, it helps in the fact they can uh, cut a couple out in a hurry. There's a pretty easy double here. Half rock on the uh, shot rock on the inside hack si uh, outturn side for uh, Caitlin. And they might be able to be half buried here, which would force uh, yeah. Amber to play a raise. But uh, yeah. well, officer and asking to pick her up quickly whoa. too. Whoa. Okay, good. Okay. Sorry. We'll get rid of one shot stone. Edge four now is Team Canada. Right? <laughs> I thought yeah. that would go sideways. Sorry, yeah. guys. Good brush. This is a great chance for Amber nice now. Caitlin, Caitlin didn't thinner. kick it that no, far. Go sideways. Yeah, it looked like it was my fault. It's hit it way too thick. They swept it all the way down. Hit it too thick. They hit it thinner. They get the back one as opposed to the top one, and out it goes. And uh, there would only be one yellow yeah. in the rings. Get it over, at least to the other side of the four foot. You'll be behind T, but chance for Amber okay. to roll yeah. away. Okay. Let's go. In a quarter, so it didn't even really need to be that tight to the guard. to get it to the other side of the four. She'll just get it across the center line. This will actually come up here, this spot. Okay. <coughs> Jennifer trying to use those yellow rocks on this side for protection, trying to roll in behind them. Down by Saskatchewan <laughs> and uh, look yeah, to achieve you know. their goal here with a hit and stay. Sorry, I'm just getting a little tight on those. Good. 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 Let's go. Nine and a half. Okay. Okay, a little firm go. last time, hey? Like yeah, three, yeah. Yeah. Let's go. go. You got it. Now, do you want Jennifer to hit against three, or do you want her to draw against three? You could roll wide over to the edge of the eight, forcing a draw. Or do you hang around the edge of the four and make her hit? No. You definitely want to hang around. Mm -hmm. Those other stones are grouped. Yeah. Oh, one more turn. Is there another turn? No, it'll stop on the edge. That close yeah. from rolling out and maybe leaving a double to get out of it for oh, Team Canada. Yeah, just a hair. Probably tighten it up anyway, hey? Yeah, it didn't finish huge. I guess to answer your question, Russ, if it was me and I was Amber Holland, I'd rather Jennifer hit just because we've seen now a couple of the hits. She's over curling with those out turns for sure. Yeah. So it's definitely better she makes a lot of draws. And yeah, absolutely, yeah. and that is that is part of the skipping abilities. It's it's not just ice reading and figuring out your own team. It's figuring out the weaknesses of the yeah. other team on that given day. And uh, you heard Jennifer whisper to Caitlin, uh, 
I'm turning that out turn in a little bit. So uh, I think it would have been wiser to make her hit, but you never know. Leading by one, three, two, final stone here in the third. And drawing against three, needs at least full length, maybe a little Steel bit line. of the blue. Curling now. No, it's not really moving. It's moving now. There it goes. Yeah, it's moving. There it goes. Line's good. Officer and Haskin will Straight just clean team. this up for their skipper. Got a girl. Good job. And they'll take it all the way to the button for the single point. So Saskatchewan does what they do. They force Canada into a single. They get the hammer back. Tell me about it. Sounds like you need help with your RSPs. Yeah. By following BMO Smart Steps for investing, you keep more of your money and secure it for your retirement. Sounds like I can retire. Maybe you should retire that headband. It's fashionable. Be clear about how to invest better with BMO Smart Steps for investing. BMO Bank of Montreal. Making money make sense. It's Lobster Fest. The one time of year Red Lobster creates so many irresistible ways to treat yourself to lobster. Like our new lobster and shrimp trio with baked lobster au gratin. Our decadent lobster lover's dream. With both sweet maritime and buttery rock lobster tails. And 11 more choices, each served with a salad and our unlimited signature biscuits. Come celebrate Lobster Fest. Right now at Red Lobster. We just like to canoe or run around in our snowshoes. While that all may be true for the last quarter century, every spring here's what we Canucks really love to do. Roll up the red to win. That's right, we go to two. Grab a double double and we roll up the red to win. for Xbox 360. Rated T for teens. Why are sponge towels so absorbent? It's the sponge pockets. Sponge towels, nothing <laughs> absorbs like it. This is the brand new 2011 Ford Edge SEL. The grand prize for the winner of this year's Ford Hot Shots. And the final, a battle of teammates. Team Canada's Jennifer Jones and her third, Caitlin Laws. And it was the experience of Jones that pays off in the final as the defending Scottish champion added Hot Shots champion to her resume. And what a way to start her week with a two-year lease on a brand new Ford Edge. And you can be a winner too. Log on to FordHotShots.Curling.ca and give it a try. And just like Jennifer Jones, you too could be driving away in a brand new Ford Edge. Championship Sunday here at the Scotties in Charlottetown. Our last broadcast. Team Canada picks up the single in three, leads 4 2. First stone, Linda goes top four. That's red. That's Team Canada. Up goes the corner from Saskatchewan. Nice shot by Don to that top four clip. 
situation. Now, don't forget, playing this way in two, it took them five. Saskatchewan took five shots to move things around and get something in the right spot to set up the deuce. So it's no panic, but you certainly don't want to get the house closed down. I like the way Amber moved things around. Hard. Go, go, go. Hard, guys, go. Not, are you in? Not quite. Yeah, go, 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 go. Hard, 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 hard. Hard, go! Great nice. shots, Don. Very nice. Good brushing. Yeah. That's a 90, guys. Just fantastic rock positioning again by Don. This, this is a tricky little shot because they have to negotiate the corner guard Four, first five. before they get around the center. Five, six. Go oh, then. Still some room. Six. Go now. Six. Yep. Line's great. Yep. Line's great, all you. Line's really good. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Hard. Enough to He's pull it around. Oh, they did again. Okay. The top head to the eight. Next year, the Scotties will be in Red Deer at the NMAX Centrium. The organizing committee is here. And uh, it's been a long time since we've been in Red Deer, midway between Edmonton and Calgary. Halfway. Hey, show me your 6790. Like a seven? <laughs> So Amber made the choice to play the come around. She could have chipped that guard. It was very tight. You could have chipped and rolled in off it, played to the come around and didn't quite get to the freeze position. Jennifer just asked the team, do you want to play the angle run back? Get rid of that yellow or just guard. And they decided on the guard, trying to keep the pressure on Amber. Yeah, it's got to curl hard. Two point lead, you'd question throwing the guard, but they're set up so nicely for Team Canada. It makes a lot of sense. Great brushing. brushing. Great brushing. Sorry, guys. I just did not want to be heavy. <laughs> no worries. Good brush. Sure. Good job. It's your throw seven. Well, I think so, hey? I think we have to. Yeah. Let's go, Tammy. Nine. Let's go. Tammy Schneider. Whoa, yeah, whoa, whoa. Yeah, Heather. Okay. Okay. And the shooter will stay out there. Not quite where they wanted it, Vic. They are a little cute. It's hard to call those perfectly to hit Thanks. and roll for a Thanks corner. They hit that a half. Good, but we got to take the out turn. Maybe a quarter okay. of an inch uh, thinner and it rolls right where they want it. But that's not in a good spot for Amber Holland. This is the one thing we said when you're playing Jennifer Jones, and we've said it many times this week. You that you have to be very careful with the come around on the center guard or playing around the middles when you have the hammer because they will continue to hem you in. And as I mentioned, you could have chipped and rolled off the tight guard that they played. Once there's a bit of a mess out in front, you've really got to think about how to open it up. It's tough to score a lot of points when you're running guards. There. Just a hair on the off nose and get both. Well, hands. could just try to nut it there. I like that. Okay, just a little off nose. Nine. You could double peel two of the guards. The <coughs> run back is being tried here. You just have to be careful you don't just nose it. Yeah, they're playing a quote a half an inch off nose, which is awfully close to nose, and that's the last thing they need. Oh, nice. Oh, look at this. Oh, there it is. <laughs> It's a great shot. First of all, the shooter rolls away. That was key. There's the break. 
A little spin in. Mm -hmm. and then it even goes by and then and hooks it. in behind like uh, it had eyes. <laughs> Dang, there's a hole here to hit. Abba, why would you do that? Okay, <laughs> that's fun. I think here it's Come pretty here. good. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, until that, Linda, you really wondered how Holland and Saskatchewan were going to get in there. Yeah, at that point, you needed the ramp over those guards. It was going to be a mess. So Fine, a good shot and then a it's big a break. Curl. Really? Oh. You're over, well. It's got a curl, guys. Caitlin Laws. Whoa, it's got Whoa. a curl. No. Okay, we have to. Oh. Need some curl, switch the sweepers. For sure, halfway, four feet. Clean it. Well, then. Stay with it. It's got to move. Whoa, whoa, yep. whoa. Whoa, 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 Good. Good. <laughs> oh, it's off to a side note. Whoa. Yeah. There you go, Kim. Boy, you, you just wonder now, Linda, you, you'd love to open it up to yeah, be able I to score so. two, but... Just slightly off nose, Kim. Yeah, it's dangerous hey, territory that running one. red ones back towards that lone yellow. Nine. And again, if you just hey, keep hitting them on the nose, cool. you're leaving the mess out in front. And even if you're successful with the double peel and you roll away, it exposes the shot rock. get out but it does pop into the open on the wide side and that all-important center line is that, now a four? yellow stone top four is okay full eight's okay <laughs> keep an eye on that rock though that, that, that just rolled over here. jennifer could actually jam that one it's lined up absolutely perfect for a red red raise to take the yellow out so uh Saskatchewan has to be careful with that outside oh, red one in the top of the wall. Wait, hey, top top one. No, it's top eight. Close. Yeah, top eight. That's why Jennifer's yeah. leaving a second one so that they can't protect against yeah. both. Yeah, mine only. Hard. Can we move yeah. it? Fighting for. Can we move it? Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. Officer and asking. Do they have enough whoa. to bump it whoa. back? Curl up. Nice shot. Kate. Very Great nice. Shot. Great brushing. Caitlin Laws. So tough for it to come through. Oh, girl, so tired, brush. Yeah. Nice shot. Nice. I like that. Hey. Even if you go here, it isn't bad. Get that thick. You like that nine again? I think so. Let's go. You got it. Scary. This is scary. You're running the yellow into the reds. But if you don't hit it right, you're going to chip out your own. Shooter will be out in front. There's going to be a lot of ways in. Whoa, whoa. And only two rocks left. Whoa, whoa. No. no. Kim Schneider whoa. needs to come yep, up to yep, the yep, nose. Yep, yep, yep. And okay. it will not, and she'll drive it by. Okay. And the shooter rolls over just off center line now, okay. covering oh, the edge of the four foot. Yeah. Yeah, just a little more yeah. weight. Sorry. Don't want it to no, I don't. Don't just freeze again. Where? Um, how do we get there? That's my only question. Those vibe, but look at that there. yellow stone. Two yeah, enemy I'm rocks in front of it. How am I playing? Do you like playing at it? Just I just don't want to agree we're a double and a roll behind buried. If we know, and we get this to go. Yeah. What do you like? A guard or? Yeah, I kinda. Well, I don't know. I don't mind the guard because we always have that. Yeah, one. that's true. Yeah, I like guarding them. This is a lot of this hard. is about timing. When do you want to make a play? Yeah. I was going to ask you that. This isn't a like concession about holding them to one, is it? it? No, definitely not. You've got so many options right now, and Amber like has Dawn? so few. Uh, the guard, guard. Yeah. And then for us, there's that stone that you pointed out, that one that's just. Uh, that one, that one, the top 12 there. That's the scary one for Saskatchewan. They really can't do anything about that if there's a guard the thrown here. Kind of thing. Okay. Yeah. 
Try not to sweep them early because they really yeah. hang. I think for Jennifer, though, you have to bring here? this in yeah, tight, maybe a perfect order. freeze, bring it right in where it's very dangerous. If, you, if uh, Jennifer throws okay. the straight guard, you might see Saskatchewan cap off that one I just circled. And then it's tough for Jennifer to get at that back one. And I think they'd be very happy with a single. Definitely want to make this one really usable so you have two guys. ways in. Keep it out there if you can. Halfway. Mine's good. Keep it out there, bitch. It's an over yeah. curl. Jennifer Jones in her first. Oh, no, it's got a curl. Remembering Saskatchewan oh, it's got a curl. does have oh, the it'll, last it'll rock it'll playing the Yellowstone. Stay with oh. it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Easy. Yeah, a little bit. Whoa, 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 nice, whoa. Jen. Good. I came out with hack weight. Okay. <laughs> I can't hack weight. I think I put a hole in mine. Take away that run. That one's just oh, edge to edge. Not. Yeah. <laughs> but I guess if we're leaving or something, we leave her that. It's yeah. Take off that, she might. Hmm. Guard the four that she like just threw? I guess so. She can run anything in, really, if she wants Well, she's not going to run one of ours. No. Just in case she gets that. You like the long guard, then? I guess so, yeah. She's just slashing the red right now. I think I need less. Less? Okay. Yeah, slash. Yeah, at this go. moment, uh, Russ, what? Team Canada no, looks pretty good here. here. I mean, they've got two stones they can play back. Huh? Oh, they're just <laughs> licking their lips. They can't wait to get in the hack to throw the next one because, as Linda mentioned, one of the, the best things guard, you could do in this sport is leave yourself two options now. Like They're not going to be easy yeah. shots, but the, the benefit here is Jennifer can just about do anything, and there's no way that Saskatchewan can score two. So I think Jennifer will take a long look okay, at that one go. we circled at the 130 position, 2 o'clock position at the top of the 12 okay. and running that in. So if you're looking and trying to play percentages here, uh, Linda Lee, the center line guard, yes, more direct, but it's longer. Uh, might you then take away the the Keep angle the raise instead? Well, this is when Keep you move, just, I guess, go by what you believe is bad. the most simple shot for Jennifer We're Jones. And I guess you? they oh, feel oh, that uh, this one, being straight in this front, is the then. simpler yep. of the two. Yep. They would have loved to have little played that yep. shot oh, side 12 and rolling behind. Yep, That's what they first Bye. looked at, but they didn't think it would go. Whoa. Yep, yep, yep. Oh. And the... Uh, Shooter just comes across <laughs> enough to take away a corner. That went farther than I thought it would. Yeah, and now they're lining up that stone that you said could be the danger I'll just stone. Right? Quiet so we don't lose them all. But oh, for sure. And the uh, the only yeah, question, this will come up a the only bit, question like is once yeah, you come just down just and hit it here, if you hit it yeah. there, it might lose energy going this way onto the other red. But if Jennifer can actually get it to come in and hit on the top on the of the face that goes straight hard, back. But I don't, She's looking at two or three buried here. It's pretty thin. On all those guards out in front, that's like a problem for Amber. Yeah, Guarding the last one right. didn't yeah. really complicate it as much. So. It was leaving those other ones on the peels. There's a wall yeah, out there. This. Yeah, good, this you could probably sweep early. Yeah. Yeah. Heather's so short a little bit, hey? Mm -hmm. Team Canada. Oh. Jennifer Jones, oh. final yes. stone here in poor. Yes. You can hear yes. Caitlin Love oh. calling them off, calling oh. them off, calling them off, looking to get the right oh. angle back. And not enough. It just wouldn't come up from them. Okay. Well, that's her intern that's been running straight. <laughs> it did run straight coming there right the now. same yeah. way in two. Out turns going, no, in turns straighter, and it just wouldn't come up. And I think yeah. she's just, just yeah, sliding a little so. bit Keep left of target. Okay. Nice drive. Uh, yeah. Let's go. Could have thrown a little more weight to that. Obviously, you need less ice, but uh, I think Saskatchewan's uh, <laughs> starting to breathe. <laughs> yeah, I, you know. Definitely. Exactly. Now, really I mean, she's got there, no what? A throw through, Vic. Nothing else. Looked at everything okay. and is going to be. Very thankful with their single point. They're going to run over and put the score up themselves. Yeah. <laughs> Saskatchewan as Amber Holland tosses it through. One it is for the team from Chrono and through four. It's a one point Team Canada lead. 
Marker, what was different about this girl? Tell me about that. We were driving down the highway and she was in the passenger seat. And I looked at her and I said, you know, I feel like you've been in this seat my whole life and this is a place that we were meant to be. I think that's a feeling that's difficult to describe, but it's one that you know and you recognize. And that's what, that's what I felt. You saw her as a passenger in your vehicle of life? Is that a great... <laughs> Review your matches free at eHarmony.ca. Nothing feels like cashmere. The Keg's Winter Grill menu is now on. With even more delicious steaks than ever. Like our 20-ounce T-bone. So come in and try something new. Only until March 6th. Insurance brokers don't work for an insurance company or sell insurance. They choose your insurance with you and are there to help in the event of a claim so you can sleep easy. Your best insurance is an insurance broker. So is it a pretty tight-knit culture here? Oh, yeah, we are extremely close. Come here. Come on. <laughs> Sit. Oh, you are such a good boy. You want to give me a kiss? You're going to give me a big kiss, a big wet kiss? Yes, you will. I'm not a big kisser. Sorry. We let the staff bring their dogs in. Oh, yeah. I've got a great Dane. See beyond the job posting. Get an inside view of what makes each employer unique. Workopolis. Time to shine. Me and you, and you and me, no matter how they toss the dice, it has to be the only one for me is you, and M and M and you. So happy together. Susie's parents will save up to $75 on her fitness program. The Lees will save up to $750 on their first home. Nick can deduct up to $500 for his new tools. And the Johnsons will split their eligible pension income. Get tax cuts working for you. It makes sense to file electronically and on time. Tax cuts are part of Canada's Economic Action Plan. A message from the Government of Canada. At Sharp, we thought a TV so sleek and stylish deserved a world's first. A fourth color, yellow. We added yellow to the standard RGB color system for colors never before seen on TV. Introducing Quattron from Sharp. Here we go for the day on the road again. We can dream away. The that comfort day. of Purex, the feeling of home. It's softness they'll notice with cashmere softness. Eight years ago, he lost to Norway. Listen to the crowd. John Morris will put the brush down for his skipper. And now the resume is complete. And you can add a gold medal for Kevin Hart. All he wanted to do was go one step higher, and he's moving on up. One year ago today in Vancouver, Kevin Martin and John Morris, Mark Kennedy, Ben Hebert, gold medal winners, and they will now represent Alberta at the Tim Hortons Briar beginning next Saturday, March the 5th, 2.30 Eastern time will be the opening draw and that evening at 7 Eastern. Prior to the evening draw, we will preview the entire field and a great field it is with the likes of Glenn Howard, and Pat Simmons, we already mentioned from Saskatchewan, and Jeff Stout. So that's the Briar, the Canadian Men's Curling Championship, and it begins next weekend from the John Labatt Centre in London, Ontario. Saskatchewan gets one in the fourth, so here we go. It's the fifth, it's a 4-3 Team Canada lead, and Jennifer Jones, once again, has the last rock, playing the Red Stones. Syndergaard up, nice come around by Don Askin. It's just that that last end was so strange. And Saskatchewan did exactly what we said they could not do, and that's hem themselves in and take the rock out of Amber's hand. She had no shot, and she's a big shot maker. So there were some mistakes on this strategy for Saskatchewan, and then Jennifer confused us by putting her guard up. 
and not bringing it tighter to leave herself two easier shots. Yeah, so it's easy to, it's an odd one. easy to criticize from up here, but the uh, if, if Jennifer freezes that on or taps it a little bit, you could tap it and sit three and take your chances and uh, left herself a hero <laughs> shot and just missed it. The come around angle again made by Heather, a little bit of an angle on the two rocks in the house. Last time playing this way, Dawn and Jill both rolled off this situation. They just want to freeze. Lines good, full eight. Yep. Yep. Hard. It's good. No, it's Come on, it's like go. All you got. It's dying on them. They managed to drag it by the center guard. And it just won't reach. I didn't think she. No. Guess we got another one just a little bit earlier. Understanding those angles, there's an angle on the out turn side, so go around on the out turn and you can tap yellow, yellow later. Anything uh, past that uh, front guard, top 12, partially open, something you can use. Line's pretty good. We're at three. Go then. Hard line. Three would be short. Line's good. Hard line. Line's pretty good. Hard. Yep. Every inch. Hard. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Hard. Every inch, every inch, every inch, go, every go, inch. Keep hard, going, keep hard, going. Hard. Okay. Okay. Oh boy, they are. Those brushes are slogging it, aren't they? They sure are. Called out a three, that would have been short of the house. They managed to get it top 12. Makes quite a change in the look for the house. And Jennifer is clearing it open. Oh boy, a little wobble yes! from Jill Officer and right out of her oh, hand. Oh, oh, you could hear no, Jennifer Jones no, cry out. Got a girl. Very nice, Jilly. And she does. Get it to rattle, open up, takes off a nice Yellowstone out in front as well. Exactly. <laughs> Nine and a half, good. Let's go, Tammy, you got this. extra weight here he'd love to hang around it's coming up good okay 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 your turn here Ten. Okay. hit and roll in front each team trying to force a mistake from the other the situation Yellow red that is shot in second shot oh. is quite good for Saskatchewan right now. Yep. Whoa. Oh, yep, yep, hard, hard. Go, Don, a little bit. Ah, I lost it on you, Jill. Good shot. <laughs> a little bit. Oh, there. Oh, my God. Yeah, let's go. They're close enough together. I think you could hit it dead on and make the double, Linda. It, it, if there's a little more space between the, the shot rock and the yellow, yeah, this would be dangerous, but there's a very good chance the yellow redirects onto the shot rock. Enough to push the second stone out the back. <laughs> that is the benefit of playing the up weight. Didn't, didn't get quite enough of it with that weight to push the red one all the way out, which would have been nice. Chance for a double right back. Has to watch the jam. If it's made, the rocks will be spread out, not side to side, but front to back in the house. Whoa! Wake up! No! Power! Like nine and a half. We're hitting it perfect. Roll it. Roll it, Don. Go, 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 go,
good. Play the double. Big nine and a half. Good, Kim. Go straight up. Here's a front to back double. The option would be to roll. You just don't want to roll to a position where you leave an easy double back. Clean. That's hard not to, isn't it? No. Clean. It's better than missing wide, though. Oh. sisters and uh, obviously very interested there's a uh, dad Larry <sighs> yeah it's tough watching one but watching two <laughs> Tammy and Kim that was a tough one to watch because that was a difficult way to play it from the outside and lose it on the outside I hit to sit two now you gotta go really hard Oh, and they avoid the jam. Right, okay, to sit two. <laughs> Remembering now that Team Canada does have the last rock here in five. You know, <coughs> am I wrong in saying? I mean, I think Saskatchewan's okay. played reasonably well, except for that opening end when they gave up the three. And that was about decisions as much as anything. A couple of bad decisions on Skip's rocks. Amber didn't throw them all that badly, but uh, did not work out at all for them. And you're right, Vic. Again, last in, though, some choices that I wouldn't have made. Mm -hmm. And here, right. I would have played the other turn to ensure you save the shooter. So it's not as much Nine, the six. throwing. Yep. No, it's just decision making. You're absolutely yeah. right. It, you know, we're all yep. going to miss. Everybody, all these curlers curl 80, 85 percent. It's just yeah. missing that 15 percent, yeah. the, the correct way. Go, go, go. Okay, good throw. <coughs> Let's see. Good throw. I like a little bit more. Or, sorry, where? Sorry. Yeah, there's good. Okay. It's really not worth rolling for uh, Jennifer. A little bit of an angle, and you take out your own back one, so you hit it dead on and Same hope for the really. missed double. Try to roll it a, a little bit. Okay, let's go. Which way is that? Yours again, if we can, like, yeah, 10. Jennifer's done a great job at the start of the game, got those breaks in one and took advantage and isn't needing the kind of comeback we talked about before the game that she's had historically in the playoffs. This would be a huge end if she could get the deuce. Whoa, Jill. Okay. Whoa. Yeah. No. Jennifer only. Jones and her first. Clean only. No. No, clean Anything only. Jill. A little bit, Dilly, a little bit. Okay, no, nice shot. It'll done. sit right okay. there. She just keeps looking soft to me for some reason. You just want to see today. You just look soft to me for some reason, so I, that's okay. In the 1 2 game and the semi final, Amber Holland made six doubles. This would be a great like time to. for no, another. Jill was like really into sleeping today. Yeah. <laughs> Better than not, I stone of the fifth Nine for three. Saskatchewan <coughs> facing yep. a couple here Whoa. looking for the run Whoa. back Whoa. pick off a stone at the back of the 12 yep. the other way, yeah. going the other way now gonna catch it oh and she stuffed it absolutely <laughs> banged it on the beak and so now it's an open draw right. for two okay right in between the two yeah <laughs> okay yeah a little it's more weight than was intended and uh, yeah, got caught in between and uh, no, that's fine. That's fine, actually. they tried at the last second Kim to yeah, call the audible fine. and get it yeah, across right. the top and just jammed it dead on and uh, it's amazing how many times you do that because you really want to make sure the front one hits the back one and you, you're sometimes you're very successful at that and hit it dead on you guys can carry this a long way though right yeah, yeah, yeah same still way. sliding nice yeah
This is for the deuce and a big lead. That's not terrible. Anywhere it's in not the paint. Yet. It's curling. I was a little tight. Just put it in the rings. Mine's good. Has one at the back That's 12. Guys. Anywhere <laughs> in the house. That's good way. Good way. For two more, Team Canada. And as we go to the break in this championship final of the 30th edition of the Scotties, Canada with a 6-3 lead. Oysters in the half shell. And when we come back, we'll hear from Caitlin Laws. And Bob Weeks will be here with this week's report. The 2011 Scotty's Tournament of Arts is brought to you by Purex Bathroom Tissue. It's softness they'll notice. Hey everyone, Kate Burness in the TSN Sports Center newsroom. We'll get you back to the Scotty's in just a minute, but first, here are some of the stories we are working on for the next edition of Sports Center coming up after curling leaps and thrashers. This one went to overtime. Ron Hainsey risks his second goal of the year past Jaya Shiger. Atlanta wins 3-2. Leafs now four points back. Carolina for eighth in the East. Devils, Panthers. New Jersey up 1-0 when Brian Rolston scores his 11th of the year. Devils hold on. They win 2-1. They are nine points back. Carolina for eighth in the East. Lightning Rangers tied at one in the third. Tampa on the power play. Vinny LeCavalier rifles a one-timer pass. Henrik Lundqvist. 15th of the season, that's your game winner as Tampa wins it 2-1 the final. Now also the Chicago Blackhawks have locked up Brent Seabrook for the next five years. He will earn $29 million. We will have much more on that. And of course, everything as trade deadline day approaches tomorrow, we'll see on SportsCenter. Scotties, proud supporter of women's curling for 30 years. And to celebrate our 30th anniversary, we're giving away 30 pairs of sparkling diamond earrings. The Diamond Anniversary Sweeps Contest. Enter online at scotties.ca for your shot to win. Me and you, and you and me, no matter how they toss the dice, it has to be the only one for me is you. M&M and, &M and you. So happy together. Everyone's favorite curling shot can now be played at the box office. Introducing Double Impact from the Season of Champions. Two tickets for two people for all the draws you really want to see. And as a special bonus, the all-new Season of Champions rewards card. Included in your package for twice the excitement in half the time. It's called Double Impact. Complete details at seasonofchampions.ca. in the cup. Introducing Volterran Emil Gel Joint Pain. It's an anti-inflammatory medicine that concentrates in the joints where relief is needed. Okay. New Volterran Emil Gel Joint Pain. Rediscover the joy of movement. In the darkest realms. Local PD's on edge. The chief doesn't know what to make of it. Of the human psyche. Probably looks safe and normal. Normal people don't cut out a person's eyes. You don't see psychotic coming. The only way to catch a killer. So why does she choose him? Because is to think like one. She's trying to talk to us. What is she saying? I'm not done. Criminal Minds, Suspect Behavior. Wednesday at 10, 9 central on CTV. Watch more. Full episodes online at ctv.ca. The 2011 Scotty's Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by Tim Horton's Premium Blend Coffee. Always 20 minutes fresh. By Ford, official automotive partner of the Canadian Curling Association. And by M&M Meat Shops, hundreds of meal ideas, one aisle. What a great way to start for Team Canada with Last Rock in the first, and they explode for three, and they really ride that. And now add two and five, and they lead it six to three here. And for third, Caitlin Laws, what a debut. Caitlin is with Brian. Caitlin, your first ever Scotty's final. You made a couple of nice little hit and rolls early on in the game. Did that maybe get the nerves out for you a little bit? 
Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good now. I, I'll admit that I was a little shaky earlier on, but I think that's a good feeling to have. <laughs> Last night at the banquet, named a first team All-Star. Congratulations on that. What has the transition been like from being a juniors at this level in a Nationals and now on the big stage here with the women? Ah, it's been great. Uh, thank you for <laughs> saying that. Uh, no, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, definitely the play is a lot more consistent and everything's a lot bigger, but these girls have made my job really easy. <laughs> and finally, what do you got to do in this game to make sure Amber doesn't crawl back into this game? Uh, Amber's team's a great team, so we'll have to really try and put some pressure on them and make sure we take advantage of our opportunities and make as many shots as we can. Caitlin, thank you and good luck. Thank you so much. Team Canada with a 6-3 lead. The winner, of course, will represent Canada at the Women's World beginning March 18th in Espierre, Denmark. And that's the subject of Bob Weeks and the Weeks Report. Well, the winner of tonight's game will represent Canada at the Capital One Women's World Curling Championships in Denmark. And when they get there, they will find a number of familiar names. Miriam Ott, Annette Norberg, Bingyu Wang, Ludmila Privakova, and of course the defending champion Andrea Schock of Germany. Now, I talked to a World Curling Federation official today who told me that while they are very happy to have so many well-known curlers to help market this event, they are growing increasingly worried at the lack of depth in many European countries. Andrea Schott, for instance, will be appearing in her 18th World Championship. He said that the Olympics has been a godsend for improving the quality of play but so far, it's done very little to improve the quantity. As we look at some of the trophies, think back to the Olympics of 98. Helena Vak Lavas of Denmark, when she won the silver, they finally got their first dedicated facility. The goal of the program is for the kids to have fun curling. By taking the program into the schools, we're reaching a lot of uh, communities that, that have no access to curling, that, uh, that have never seen the sport before. So we're hoping to reach a whole new audience base and, and of course, youth as well. I mean, for the future of the sport, we've, we've got to get kids involved. I think you can hear and, and see by the screaming and yelling that, that they're really enjoying it. So, I mean, we, we want them to think of curling as fun when they, when they do get an opportunity to get out on the ice and play. small car? How about 927 kilometers between Phillips? It's not the Toyota Yaris, Honda Fit, or Mazda 2. Get best-in-class fuel economy with the new Ford Fiesta. See why Fiesta is the best new small car in Canada. Now why would you choose anything else? Robacs. And because back pain is a different kind of pain, Robax Platinum is formulated to relax tense muscles and relieve pain at the site of inflammation. No one knows back pain like Robax. Okay, Baba, you're not okay. Mr. Choi, are you taking any medication I should know about? Yes, yes. Yes, yes, a few different doctors. Okay, let's see what we've got here. I'm going to prescribe some undansetron for the nausea. It won't interact with anything else I see he's taking. Baba, let me... Electronic fight. health records will prevent adverse drug interactions and make health care in Canada better. Because knowing is better than not knowing. It's the championship final of the 30th edition of the Scotties here at the Civic Centre in Charlottetown as we welcome you back. And it's a familiar situation for Saskatchewan. After Canada had scored three in the first, here Saskatchewan now has the last rock playing the Yellowstones in six. And once again, they find themselves down by three. 
So it is important to make things happen this end. A little right break with Don Aspen's first rock only stopping in the eight foot corner guard goes up and now Jennifer will try and improve that situation in the house. thing that uh, that score does mean is uh, Amber is expecting when she puts the second corner guard up that Jill will be asked to peel. So the first thing you have to do is try and keep your guard so there is no double peel, but it's basically timing this again, waiting a little longer to move into the rings. And there's the double. Let's take a look at the numbers after five, Linda. Well, the strange thing, thing is you're going to see Saskatchewan with better numbers than Canada. So you're saying to me, how does that happen? Well, in my opinion, this isn't really a story about execution errors. It's questionable calls. Think of the multiple scores by Canada in one and five, and the force of the single by Saskatchewan in three. That happened because of choices, not really execution errors. And so you have to really be thinking clearly. You're over there, right there. That could have been a mistake, leaving the double peel. You have to be very careful. The numbers after five brought to you by <laughs> M&M Meat Shops. Hundreds of meal ideas, one aisle. Let's go. All it means is that Saskatchewan's going to have to take a little page from Jennifer Jones's playbook of the past three years and find a way to put I'm together a, a comeback. Again, at this stage of the game, Even. not needing to panic. Exactly. The free guard zone allows that, Linda, doesn't it? And uh, you, you get a miss no matter how good the other team is because you can utilize that. Now, can you make it work? And what they have to be careful with here, though, is That's two ends ago, Jennifer decided to put the guard on that thing. And it could happen again <laughs> later in the end. The opposite double for Jill here. She's been a little more successful on this side. A little off her game, Linda. We have both seconds a little lower than expected, and Jill has struggled, as we said, one, two yes. game, and again here. Really hard! Little half oh. waiter coming down here. Go, 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 go! Got one. That's fine, And please. across, got them both. It leaves the shooter up, covering the eight foot. Some serious heat here with the, uh, that's a lot of speed, it really is, and a great weapon for Team Canada makes the exchange it does mean a run back's like available to team canada using that red guard you just played a tap mm. i don't mind the roll 10 10, ten. sorry i think 10 is good okay. yeah let's go Ten being fairly firm weight. Yeah. We watched yeah. one of Jennifer's yeah. run here. They couldn't bury here Hard. in the second down on the hit and roll, so you can't Hard. roll out here. Hard. 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 Okay. No, you're on the nose. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. So <laughs> probably waited through Joe Officer's shot so that the situation in the house might be a little more stable. That is, you don't have the giant weight coming down and blasting. However, Jennifer has found that Caitlin Laws is actually very accurate with this kind of shot as well. The other option here would be run that corner guard, take the corner guard off, draw the play into the rings. Uh, it's yeah. tough for Saskatchewan to hit the back Easy. ones. You almost have to play the rage, Easy. which the yellow yeah. rage would set up a yellow double. Boys, the jam spins the shooter over to sit two. The uh, chairman of the organizing committee is a good friend, a, a multiple time champion of Prince Edward Island, Kim Dolan, and she is with Brian. Hey Vic, thank you very much, uh, Kim. It's been an outstanding week so far of curling. I know 
on behalf of everybody at TSN, we've been treated top notch. Maybe just take us through this week and how things have gone from your perspective. Well, I think uh, it's been a fantastic week, right from the curling to the uh, to all of the fans, to the volunteers especially. I have a big thank you. They have treated and shown island hospitality first. Um, you know, can't say enough. And uh, you know, from the hard stop, everything. We've just uh, been uh, had great comments, and it's been a fantastic show. And we've certainly had a great time being here. It was a lot of fun. Uh, watching Suzanne Bird in this building, and I'm joined by another young lady here beside me, Kathy O'Rourke. Kathy, last year this time, you were in this final. Does watching this bring back some memories for you? Oh, it certainly does. You know, even this morning when I woke up, I was thinking about this game and how it was hard to believe it was a year ago that it was our team that was going out in the ice to play Jennifer Jones. Um, certainly our team wished it would have been us back out here again. Well, listen, we appreciate both of your time, and we're very excited now to be off to Red Deer, Alberta, next year for the Scotties. Vic. Kim Dolan, it's a family affair. She's got both children working in the on the crew. Her husband is here, Liam, who's uh, done doing catering. And uh, let's not forget uh, Rebecca Jean McPhee, and uh, she's the vice chair, former PEI champion. Her dad's involved. I mean, my goodness. And thanks to everybody, the 450 volunteers, some of whom have come from away to be part of it all. We thank you. They close Eight. We don't have to. Don't have to. Nine. Nine. Here's a chance to use the guard. You worked away to get a spot to play the come around. And by they are. By they are. And it'll stop for shot stone. <laughs> Wait. It almost looked for a moment as yes. it was it was going to straighten out, but then it really hooked at the end. Yeah, it had enough weight to carry. The only problem with that enough weight to carry and get by the guard is Jennifer can freeze up to it. It's behind the T line. And her draw weight's been spot on today as usual, and uh, this isn't that <laughs> tough a right shot, too, albeit very. Okay, yeah. we can't bounce off. Okay, cool. All there here? Yeah, I think so. That looked like it slid quite nice, yeah. actually. Let's make it, you guys. I mean, think full eight, yeah, okay? Then, yeah. This is a nice position for Saskatchewan to be in because of the low risk without that clutter in front that we saw playing in four. However, Jennifer makes this draw, and you're starting to look at struggling for a deuce, maybe even being forced yeah. to a single, and you'd love to get the two. And remember, back to that first and second. Canada got three, Saskatchewan replied with two. Officer, asking, big scrub, can they drag it by? No, they can't. And the shooter will roll and spin to the center line, top edge of the 12. Now that stone, that guard, Russ has been moved over just a tiny bit. So that's the decision now. Do you go around again, try to get your three with three points down, or do you risk setting up the double? Yeah, their option, who knows. Actually, it's still yeah. quite buried, Vic, so the, uh, it would make she some sense to sink another one. Probably not for shot. No, not. You guys like the air? I like it. Yeah, I like this. It's good opportunity. Oh, the yeah. skipper likes going Use around. A little bit. No, that's oh, yeah. yeah. This is where I threw? Yeah. So that's got to be close with sweepable weight. Perfect, though, because we're still the Let's go, you got it. <laughs> How good an opportunity is this right now for Saskatchewan? Well, it, it, it's a really good one. You could hit the open one, and uh, there's a very tough double there, so I think Jennifer would just concede the two, and maybe, you know, if that was your plan at the start of the end, you'd take a long look at that, too. But because this is still buried, because they just played it, throw it three feet lighter with a little more ice, and you can put a lot of pressure on Jennifer. You know, the only little thing in your mind is that uh, Jennifer did roll top 12, and if you leave anything, anything, she's so good at getting behind cover and maybe taking this end away. And if you make it too good, you might force her to play the come around. We gotta go three, hard then. Hard to believe Line's you can make bad. it too good. Line's great. We'll be good. Room we'll if you good. can. Room if you can. No, line's great. Top eight. Just okay. top eight. Oh. Yep, oh. stay on it a little. Line only. Yep. Line only, we're full eight. Yep, you gotta go a bit. You gotta go long. Challenge up, Cammy line. Schneider. <laughs> trying to make it good. Trying to make it very good. Oh, yes, they got it there. 
Boy, that's a tough spot. You're so afraid of losing it, but then don't want to overbrush it. Yeah, a lot of pressure light. on the brushers to get it in exactly the right place. They were being called off for line, and they're a little bit uh, in between, and then they make sure that it's second shot. And that's what I meant about making it too good, Vic. They had no choice. They, they, if you're going to play the come around, you have to commit to bearing it. They made it so good that Jennifer's saying, I can't get at that. So now we play the come around with, as Linda said, that dangerous red rock. Like? She's noted to make these shots, and all of a sudden it could be a steal of one. Well, I just have like an inch. So that's why I was saying that that was tempting to play that little hit and make sure that you She's got the sure deuce. This is the risk. See if Jennifer can make it. So coming through the hole around the center Five line assistant. stone, top, yeah, top of the 12 foot. Final rock now for Team Canada here in six and leading by three. It's pretty good. Yeah. Mine's good right now. Oh, he can. He's got a curl. Mine's there right now. He's got a curl, Jill. Mine's good. Jill yeah. officer on the left. Oh, we don't Don Askin on the right. Wait only. only. Got to come through the hole now. Whoa. Backing off. You can hear Caitlin Laws. Backing off now. How far will it go? They'll take it back and back, and it will sit for shot. Back four foot. That's your shot stone. That's a steal point, possibly, for Team Canada here in the sixth. I was scared of Yeah, I didn't want to look at it. She's just got such good draw weight. It's hard to leave her those sort of options. But she's going to move it. And in addition to that, you've got brushers that are terrific judges of weight. Oh. Oh. This is tough. You wouldn't come with the other turn, huh? Yeah, you could go either way. They're both very difficult because once you start throwing some weight and we're inside the hill a little bit, uh, Linda, I can't see the snapping much. This has to just graze the guard to make it work. Stay close as we come into the house. So. Yeah. You could play the run back. Obviously, okay, it's the wrong it's color, but it might be a little yeah, easier yes. than this for yeah. two. Let's go. Need it to curl it. Back 12. You got it. This may indeed be Canadian Championship right here for Saskatchewan. Ball, They're down by ball, three. Ball, 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 Shot ball, stone yeah. back four. Hard. Hard. Ball, Alan Chuck, yeah. Tammy Schneider waiting. Yeah. Now, here they go. Yeah. Are they going to paper that guard? Center line guard. They got to paper it to get it by. They did. Tap it back. For an hour. Oh, oh. They do for three. Saskatchewan, and we're all tied up. That is an unbelievably difficult shot made by the entire team. Can't describe how tough that was. Push it far enough to hold the shooter for three. And now the comeback is complete. Here we go for the day on the road again. We can dream away. The comfort of Purex, the feeling of home. It's softness they'll notice with cashmere softness. What brought you to eHarmony? I didn't feel like I was just exposed and anybody could look at me when they wanted. With eHarmony, I felt a sense of control. You show what you want to show when you want to show it. I felt empowered. Sounds like it. <laughs> Review your matches free at eHarmony.ca. Hey, Smart, you book your room yet? Nope. See, Hotels.com has over 20,000 last-minute deals every week, so I get a great deal no matter how long I wait. Yeah, I'm not very good at waiting. Then we must train you to wait. It is time to book, mm. Grasshopper. Ooh. Now, it's okay to wait. Get great deals, even at the last minute. Hotels.com. Be smart. Book smart. The goal of the program is for the kids to have fun curling. 
by taking the program into the schools, we're reaching a lot of uh, communities that, that have no access to curling, that, uh, that have never seen the sport before. So we're hoping to reach a whole new audience base and, and of course, youth as well. I mean, for the future of the sport, we, we've got to get kids involved. I think you can hear and, and see by the screaming and yelling that, that they're really enjoying it. So, I mean, we, we want them to think of curling as fun when they, when they do get an opportunity to get out on the ice and play. Susan. Wow, look at you. Have you been on vacation? New sweater. Maybe it's the uh, pants. New jacket. New scarf. Shoes. New sweatshirt. Probably the glasses. Oh. See Alice. Ask your doctor. We just like to canoe or run around in our snowshoes. While that all may be true for the last quarter century, every spring here's what we Canucks really love to do. Roll up the rim. It's the 25th anniversary of Roll Up the Rim. You have a one in six chance to win a great prize instantly or even win one a 40 Toyota Matrix. Roll up for 25 years. This is how we roll. sponge towels so absorbent it's the sponge pockets sponge towels nothing absorbs like it we're still talking about it crowd still buzzing about it just how good this shot was well it's hard to describe we talk about doubles and triples they look a lot more exciting but to throw this 146 feet this gets by the guard by nothing absolutely nothing it takes the guard they're four down but to actually have enough speed to punch this back out of the eight foot, it's just amazing. As Linda said, team shot. Absolutely from the, the front end of Heather Kalinchuk to Tammy Schneider on the brush to Kim Schneider calling the line. It's a three spot for Saskatchewan. In six to even things at six. And here in seven, Team Canada will have the last rock playing the red stone. Got to curl, it's all there and it's coming off of her. No, no, it's too deep. I actually thought Amber might bring the first one in just to change it up a little bit and get Jennifer thinking more about how to play the corner guard game, but they're back to the middle, and that one did not bury. That's the one little thing, a benefit of actually having a bit of a break between ends. Amber and the team have to probably calm down a little bit because they were probably just as excited as us at watching that brilliant shot. You have to take a breath. No kidding. But it certainly right looks a lot better Easy. now than it did after end number one or and after end number five. <laughs> it sure oh, does. Boy, Vic, they were a little unlucky okay. at Saskatchewan fine, in the first yeah. end to give up the three, but Jennifer <laughs> nearly makes an angle raise in the fourth end and potentially could have been up seven points to two. And then if that ticks the guard, uh, Team Canada's four up, so uh, they must feel a little bit snake bitten themselves. Jump over. <laughs> Tammy Schneider behind her own guard. I mentioned the emotions that you feel after a great score. You've also got some momentum going your way if you're Saskatchewan. Off. 
Right off. Right off. Right off. Curl right right up. Right off. Oh, oh dear. That's Kill right officer there. just running it by, and then with a shake of the head. Yeah. yeah. 95, that'll be good, though. Okay. Choosing to play the guard, uh, oh, Linda, they like could go open good. side. Hey. Probably Looks based like on the factor Kim. on seconds rocks. No, no, let it curl, yet. Kim. Definitely would do that. I, I believe they would no. do that if it was little, later in little the later. end. To move. No, it's really you don't leave it long, guys. though. Yeah, line, you yeah, never know if Jennifer will just change her mind. It's only full eight. It's not a, quick, quick, quick. Every inch. a danger going. for Jennifer go, Jones. Go, 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 go. Okay, okay. Yeah, Jen. It's an eight. Pardon? Eight. Like just a seven and a half, eight. When the setup isn't working. You're thinking of playing the odd end here that Jennifer's now looking for a blank. Oh. Okay, Jill. Hey, Jill. So straight there. Yeah. Pick the three again. Schneider. Got a bit of room. Two and a half, three. Okay, it needs to move then. We're at three. <coughs> Five's not bad. Three on our own. Three, we're okay. four Pretty even. Deep yeah, here. we're real tight. Okay. We're right to it almost. Oh, no, no, no. We're not to it. Yeah, yeah a little then. Yep. Yep. That's good. That's good. That's fine. Okay. That's good. Sorry, Amber. That's fine. And the apology from Kim. And a little too. Too tight. Ideally, Saskatchewan would love to force yeah. to a single here, and uh, then they'd have two hammers in theory. Linda was saying that, and and yes! Caitlin Laws. Oh! Hard! Hard! Right, go, go, go. Oh! Runs it and yeah. jams it, and now okay, Good try. here comes the opportunity. Because you basically split and you try to keep them separated and you force, am I right? That's absolutely right. You're going in now, Vic. The only thing, Jennifer yeah. has that little here, red please. rock. That's what Amber is looking at, okay, trying right. to decide how to play this right, out. Because the one in the rings is just 12 foot. Oh, okay, so so Amber's going to try and keep turn? it away from that oh, yeah. spot. Try and keep it in the middle and hope they don't so make a long roll. Yeah, little little yeah, let's go. Smart move, you go around dead buried and they run that red one back for shot rock, also buried, or you leave it open, it, it has a hit and roll, which would be shot rock because the yellow's so far out, you're absolutely right. Back a hair, <laughs> just a three. So there'll still Hard be then. some separation here Hard, and staying go. away from the corner. Every inch. Hard. A three would be short. My broom is good. Bite do not want it short. Bite of the four. Yep, hard then. Okay, that's fine. Go, 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 go. Okay. Trying to even them up as much as possible. Most teams would be trained to hit the top rock here and roll towards this one, but if you roll out, then there can be lots of separation by hitting the wide rock rolling towards the center. Even if you're only the four foot area, yes. there's a good chance to be a double with the next oh. one. Oh. Yeah. 90. Hard. Caitlin Long. Oh. Really heavy? I don't know. It's yeah. going on. No. And there. My fault, Caitlin. Hey, Caitlin. And the Caitlin. shooter will spin out the back. Oh. Execution is letting Team Canada down right now. We saw it, I think, in Jill Officer. We've seen Sorry. it just now in That's Caitlin Long's. I think with Caitlin, it might have just been weight because they did actually call on the brushing. 
take the double? Did you like that or did you want to come around? I was almost thinking of this one. I it just, just looked like a huge oh, yeah. It just looked like a huge roll. Yeah. Interesting spot here too, Linda. You could go to the open side, keep them separated, but uh, I think Jennifer might just zip right around because if she's going to be forced to one, she might as well be forced to two. And I think they're playing the top. I think. Okay. Think if you give us 13-8 across center here, we'll be okay. Let's go. Little reminders all around you about what's at stake. Mm-hmm. You try to. Ignore them, I'm sure. It's a five. Go Go in. Line's not bad. Needs to move a bit. We can Need to move. Where do they want to go here? Straight back Need tap. Right. Okay. Need to move Try to get a bit of separation. Put it in the top of the button and hope for a mistake. You need to wait. No, no it's got to curl. It's got to curl. Whoa. 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 And there's the tap to the four foot to sit two. Saskatchewan without the last drop. So the choice was to not go open and maybe leave yourself some sort of run back on your own, and it does leave the double. I think that was respect to, to Jennifer Jones, because I, I believe uh, strongly that if you go to the open side, it forced her hand, and she played that come around, and then okay. you'd be faced with a, a straight back raise. But Miss Russ, is this any better, this situation? Well, it gives, it does, like Linda says, it does give Canada the double, but uh, what Saskatchewan's hoping for is uh, not getting that back one out of there, and then they can guard it. Yeah. Jennifer oh, Jones yeah. trying to Whoa. get Team oh. Canada out of some trouble oh. here in this seventh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. No, no. Got one, gonna get them both? No, oh. she's gonna jam oh. it. Now, where will the shooter go? And the shooter will... Uh, oh. Is it on? <laughs> I think so. You never know. <laughs> it's just, one of those. It's just one of those because as yeah, I guess you know, early. haven't been yeah, with us fine. very early in round robin play. BC got caught on a stone they thought was out. It was in and they were forced to take one. Hard to call that because it just looks like it's just kind of like almost like it's fighting a... There's no yeah. finish. It's just to believe there's no finish. Yeah. Okay. Forced to one is fine. Yeah. Flop, okay. Well, Lance, I thank him. Yeah. There's two ways to do this. You can hit this, no. which is obviously a safe yeah, way. Not. Even if you pick it out, then they get the blank. Or you could draw to sit it two and ensure there's in. no double. Yeah. And the draw, yeah, cool. albeit a little more dangerous if you set up the double, but it's a much easier shot, Linda. I, I agree. This isn't easy. We, we've watched the shot. It does hang a little bit more at the end. From hog line in, it doesn't seem to finish. They have to be careful here. Oh, you saw the nine, MVP three, oh, award is named in honor of Sandra Schmirler. Nine, three, nine, nine, nine. Of course, Amber Holland trying to win Saskatchewan's first Canadian oh, ah. Women's Championship since number nine, since number 97, since 97 and Schmirler okay. and too thin and they're gonna lose the shooter and <coughs> lose the opportunity it would seem for yeah. the force. That's fine. Well, for, yeah, you were back just a hair too. Okay. Yeah. Okay, firm. Yep, let's go. Well, it's twice in that same spot they've missed. They tried earlier a double with Kim and rolled out. Playing the other turn, rolled wide. So it does leave the straight blank. Peel it out. here to get off the hook. Scrub all the way. Did she bang this on the nose? Oh, just enough. Off nose to have the shooter go out this side. So the mistake is Saskatchewan. Rolling out allows Canada to blank. At five months, your baby is about eight inches long and weighs about one pound. At five months, my pregnancy ended, and Emma's life began at four months in a neonatal unit. I'm Diane Gushalak, and this is Emma, my happy and healthy little girl. The Sandra Schmirler Foundation provides critically needed funds for neonatal care right across Canada. Please help. A donation of $100 goes a long way in helping newborns like Emma. Not every child grows up to be a champion like Sandra, but 
every child deserves a chance to grow up. The new Ford Edge is so smart, it can show you the most fuel-efficient route to where you're going. It can find the nearest gas station. Show destination. But with combined fuel economy of only 9.5 liters per 100 kilometers, you won't need to find one very often. Say hello to the new Ford Edge, quite possibly the world's smartest crossover. Milk, eggs, cheese, ham. Hey, where are you going? Go. Love you. Hey. That was quick. Breakfast is served. A Tim Hortons breakfast sandwich? Eggs, cheese, hickory smoked ham. Too bad you forgot the milk. Did I? One milk, one sugar. No, you're good. Tim Hortons new hickory smoked ham breakfast sandwich on an English muffin. Just $2.59. Always a great value. Always Tim Hortons. Before I got my Capital One Aspire card, I was buying everything at gas stations just to get bonus miles. Looking good. Stuff for special occasions. Oh, wiper blade for you. The holidays. Even parties. Happy birthday! But now, thanks to Aspire, I get two reward miles for every dollar on everything I buy. The new Capital One Aspire card. Earn two reward miles for every dollar spent on everything you buy. Visit CapitalOne.ca. What's in your wallet? First year curler Robert Stevens has really only mastered one weight, really hard. But on the last rock of the last end of his Thursday night mixed league, he makes his first draw to the button on purpose. Yeah, that's right. He called it. He made it. And today for this one moment, Robert Clutch Stevens feels like a pro. What will your great moment be? Are sponge towels so absorbent it's the sponge pockets sponge towels nothing absorbs like it it's always uh, a, a dramatic moment when the trophy is paraded in Scott Turner of Hearts trophy being carried by RCMP constables Tara McBride Bonnie Hody and the two teams on the ice get their first look and hoping to add their names to the trophy. Well, Jennifer Jones, of course, has been there. Her name is on that trophy for the last three years. As after the blank, Saskatchewan letting her off the hook, Jones in Canada. We go to the eighth, and once again, Team Canada does have the last rock playing the Red Stones. Give me 10. 10, okay. Guard, this end is a little longer, but uh, the choice by Team Canada was to play this intern come around. And we saw earlier today, Russ and I were just chatting about this, that this turn seems to be the straightest spot on the sheet. So I think if you're wanting to bury or remember playing a tap back like Amber did earlier, you're going to have to try the other turn. Definitely better finish on the out turn coming in across the hog line. That's fine, Amber. Yeah, you're just sliding out there. It's Jennifer Jones trying to win this for a fifth time. Colleen Jones with six wins. Jennifer going to the other turn, playing the it's swing inside. Not a lot of weight here. Really hard! Really, really hard! Hard for a piece! Hard! Really hard! Really are you gotta go on the yellow jill. Go hard. There's no way to And unable to hold the shooter. Back to back Team Canada wins. Jones winning it for Manitoba in 08 and then defending it in 09 and last year. So looking to win a fifth. Scotty's as a skip. We started the game, Vic. You mentioned the fact that the experience was on Jennifer Jones' side. 
I really think that last in and the choice that Amber made maybe had some nerves attached to it, and that is the one thing you wonder about as we go into these last few ends. It's a tight score. You have so much anticipation of what is to come. That's when the nerves sometimes kick in. That's fine. Tammy Schneider just coming back of the button. The crowd has been treated to a wonderful game. Not sure if they expected it. I'm not sure if we expected it after okay. that first. Would you guys like the freeze? Where right Canada on the scored line. three. Maybe tap it. Okay, I don't mind freeze tap. Back four. Do you like that though? Yep. Moving it out of the scoring area would make some sense. Hammer in the eighth end. It's one of those games where I was wondering if Amber would even peel out her own guard and see if she could get a blank out of this end and force a nine and trying to get the hammer coming home. It's just, it has that nervous feel to it and you know that you don't want to give up a deuce here. No! Off, right off. Hack almost. Whoa! Yep! Yep! Hard! I gotta go in the yellow, I think. Oh, yeah. Okay, Jill. I haven't seen any uh, trades today. Maybe it's the calm before the trading storm. Tomorrow is NHL trade deadline day, and you can follow it all on Trade Center 2011. It all begins at 8 Eastern Time, 5 Pacific, online at tsn.ca. You can go to the TSN Mobile, including the new Trade Center iPad app. Clean. Clean. Yep, that's fine, Tammy. Good shot by Jill to uh, tap that back. It uh, gets it out of the scoring area. There's nothing uh, Saskatchewan could do but stay in the eight foot. And now a freebie for T Canada. <coughs> oh, good thing I looked. Jill officer just making sure that the the running surface is clean on a crucial shot here in eight chance to come around. Bite the four, come on, bite the four. Rolling Jones, bite the eight. That timed high, so it was nothing to do with the icers, no problems. It was just like a little light, and they could not drag it. We're shot. Hey. There's second. Hey. Just tuck a corner, hey. I need a 90 here? Yep. Let's go. As Linda mentioned, a little bit more finish here. She gave us a hair extra. Mine's pretty good. We're a six. Pop four. Seven. Room in. Seven. Eight. No then. We're no then. Close. Seven, eight. Can we close the blind? Eight. Mine's getting tight. Nine. Yep, you gotta yep, go. You gotta They wait and wait and wait for it to break. Oh. And then they waited too long as it rubs and rolls off. They're going to have to be careful on this particular sheet of ice. We have one side that's faster and straighter. The other side finishes hard, and they're going to have to keep their minds clear to keep in mind how much ice to take as they move across the sheet. Okay. Kind of way do you like here or here? I think just here. Okay. Well, as we look at it, it would appear then you're saying the left side right at this moment is the swingy side, right side, straight side. A little bit of each here, right, Vic, and that changes the speed on those draws. Yeah, 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 yeah. Caitlin Laws. Really hard. Really hard. Really hard now. 
Now it's their struggle. Center line guard got it by. Now the roll. Go down, sweep it. And Go down, bump it. And move it. That's fine. And they're sitting for shot stone. That's the shot stone just thrown. Sitting eight foot back of the T line. <laughs> That's a huge break though to sit over there because otherwise if it had rolled all the way out, there could be another come around and they would have already figured out the ice for that spot. And the come around's easier because the red one's been moved out of the way a little bit and uh, they, to get to the button's not much easier and uh, certainly was a big break. There should be a double opportunity or a hit roll buried here for Team Canada. Yep, 10. Kim yeah, Schneider. 10-2. Shows a swingy turn. Callan Chuck, Tammy Schneider. Hold it for, and it'll okay. sit right there. Saskatchewan is sitting two here in eight, but without last rock. To be a little aggressive on the roll here. If you do get it thin, you can get lucky, make that back double again. Possibly sit two buried. He barely oh, had her fingers oh, off the handle. Oh, Caitlin oh, Longs, oh, as oh, Officer oh, and Askin oh, jumped oh, all oh, over oh, it. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. And it'll roll to the outside. Shot stone now, oh, Saskatchewan. Softer, Back eight. Uh, we can still get a bit of, like, a this down. one isn't helping us, right? So we can still get a flop. Do you like a little then. more weight then to get the action yeah. off that back one? I don't like leaving it there. If we flop just the even, even just a little flop to be second, right? Yeah. Yeah, I don't mind that. Nine and a half then. A little, uh, little more, Kim. Let's go. <laughs> Three quarters or two thirds. Yeah. To play the come around, Linda, you're already shot rock and uh, obviously you want to tick the guard and set up a double, <laughs> but you can set up a double this way also. Uh, okay. We make the roll. We lose our back one, but it's not really helping us any right no. now anyway, so. So just Even if you roll just like a hair. just a hair, but you can probably roll to go, you know, edge to edge. Okay. Let's go, hey, let's get the roll. Nine and a half. She is. She uh, mustn't have just. But isn't it dangerous to ignore it, to leave it there? Well, exactly, Beck, you're absolutely right. If you don't make the come around, they set up a double, you give up three. But uh, yep. what what is the goal here? If you're trying to steal, it's a good opportunity. Said she was going to up the weight a little whoa. bit. Didn't mind losing yeah. her own stone. Back 12. Whoa, 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 whoa. Trying to jump it over. Whoa, 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 and there's whoa, whoa. the jump. Whoa, whoa. And it's over. Oh. <laughs> Great call on the ice. And then it was starting to close. So they had to brush it. Didn't mind sacrificing the other yellow to get the roll. Great call by Kim to stay cool in the house. There's a little wee piece exposed, but what a beautiful shot. And that's the hard part with strategy, Vic, is that we, we all have our own indications. I, I, you know, I like to draw, it's the eighth end, you get a chance to bury, but if you hit as well as Amber does, why not? And now, Linda, here you comes the shot, draw. Guys. You gotta be on the button. Okay. Come around to the button. Are they biting the button at all? Yeah, they're quarter in. Yeah, they are Ideally, biting the like button, just Saskatchewan. Just above it, okay. like at the top of the button. Is just on the edge of the button T-line. Team Canada with the last rock here in eight. Speed's holding that, yeah. They just have to keep an eye on the path and where it starts to break because it will really start to curl once it hits the hog line. Line's tight. Line's good. Line tight. Yeah, you gotta go for line. So you expect it to break a little more, bust a little more. There's a long center line guard. Hard line. Hard! Officer and Askin, this may come up a little light here. They've really got to drag this. Got to get it by that stone top eight first. Hold on. And the roll, the roll. Shot stone, Team Canada. Well, let's check the numbers and for the two skips. It's just brilliant draw weight by Jennifer Jones exhibited on that last shot. So far, 90% coming in. 
Amber Holland making big shots as well. This is a terrific battle between these two skips. Player numbers brought to you by Ford, official automotive partner of the Canadian Curling Association. We knew it would curl a lot. She thought she was a bit tight. They swept that from coast to coast just to get it by. That ticks on the guard. It's big trouble. What a great spot to stop it, too. I'm not sure. Angle. Yeah, I'm not sure it's worth moving oh, it, Linda. No, no, no. Okay. They're just playing the freeze. Okay. So we, we don't make we it. We ever then. touch that. And then we touch it. It is just kind of edge to edge. Okay. So. No. I didn't. I yeah. can't see what it looks like. Yeah. Mm. Okay, just right to it, hey? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Need to take lots of ice here. There's so be is it slowing down here? Or? Virtually no, wide open here, and you're fine. I'm always so late at this and try to make let's that go. thin double. We're all there. Whoa, oh, easy then. Close. Final Let's stone go. for Saskatchewan. Six. No bands. With Team Canada Can having go? the last rock One here in eight. Room. Bit of room. Got more room. I'm going to want to go soon. Room still. Room. Easy, Can't easy, bail. Easy, easy, easy. This is just a freeze. Whoa. Can't be deep. Sit. Sit, 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 sit. Okay. And on the corner. But, 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 but. I don't know if you can just hit the yeah, nose and play it back and be shot. You have to somehow rush move the Yellowstone second shot on the T line at the edge of the button. You just try to nose this. I think you can, Vic, and you might even be get the outside the rock at the back uh, for three here. Okay. Had to be short on that one. Like it? Yep. If they come down here, Vic hit it just a just a tad off center. The red shoots the yellow across, how far depending on the speed, but that redirects this yellow rock over this way, point, and it guys. could very yeah, well down. take out that back rock. And, and you count ten. one, okay. two, and three. And even ten and a half. They're in a really six six tie. Playing eight. I don't want to spin ours out of the yeah, button here. And if she's going, just gotta get to the no. Not sure why they had to freeze that, Linda. Like uh, just anywhere over the hog line does the same job. And then they were brushing it. Mm -hmm. A few inches shorter, the shot's not there. Jennifer Jones made a wonderful shot with her first one trying into shot position. Picked up. Officer Askin trying to hold the line now. Trying to get it by the guard first. Oh, they did now. Watch them go. No. Couldn't hold the line. And the force pays off for Saskatchewan. Team Canada will take the single. They lead. Saskatchewan will have the hammer when we come back. Hey, everyone. Kate Burness in the TSN Sports Center newsroom. We will get you back to the Scotties final in just a moment. But first, here are some of the stories we are working on for the next edition of Sports Center coming up after curling. Lots of hockey going on, including the Bruins and the Oilers. Just over a minute into the first, Alish Hemsky scores his 14th of the year. Jim Vandermeer, Dustin Penner assisting. It is currently the 2-1 Boston Leafs and Thrashers. This one went to OT. Ron Hainsey risks his second goal of the year past J.S. Jaguar. Atlanta wins 3-2. Leafs now four points back at Carolina for eighth in the East. Into the NBA, Knicks visiting the Miami Heat first half. Dwayne Wade hooks up with LeBron James. James with 10 points already. Heat up by 11. Also currently scoreless between the Blues and the Calgary Flames. And the Blackhawks, they've locked up uh, Brent Seabrook to a five-year, $29 million deal. We'll have all the details coming up on SportsCenter. We'll see you after curling. of home. It's softness they'll notice with cashmere softness. Technology. Ford technology. Helps me to be a better driver. My mirror tells me. When someone's in my blind spot. There's sensors all over my car. All around. Beep, beep, beep. My car senses other cars. It automatically slows down. It's too close. It's like, whoa. I can use my voice to turn things on and off. My car parallel parks itself. How did you do that? My eyes are on the road. My hands are on the wheel. That's safe driving. You know, the stuff that you learn. When you learn how to drive. I never learn to drive in a car like this. Smarter cars make the difference. Ford. Drive one. 
up here in the great white north the world thinks we just like to canoe or run around in our snowshoes while that all may be true for the last quarter century every spring here's what we canucks really love to do roll up the red it's the 25th anniversary of Roll Up the Rim. You have a one in six chance to win a great prize instantly or even win one a 40 Toyota Matrix. Roll up for 25 years, this is how we roll. Six weeks ago, first year curler Jonathan Chow could barely find his balance. But on the last rock of the last end of his Monday night men's league, he makes his first double takeout on purpose. Yeah, that's right. He called it. He made it. And today for this one moment, Johnny the Hammer Chow feels like a pro. What will your great moment be? Me and you, and you and me, no matter how they toss the dice, it has to be the only one for me is you. M&M and, &M and you. So happy. So it's decision time now for Saskatchewan. You're down by one. You've got Blast Rock. You've got the hammer in nine. Do you play and try to get the blank to take the hammer to ten and try to win it coming from behind one down? Earlier today, for the first time, he had a bronze medal game. And it was Heather Smith Dacey and her team from the Mayflower in Halifax. Terry Lake, Liz Comstock, and Danielle Parsons that beat Ontario and Rachel Holman, 9-7. Interesting thing, of course, is that Smith Dace is taking over the yeah. team from Colleen Jones oh, when she came down with meningitis back in December. And today, oh, Colleen Jones won the Nova Scotia yeah. Seniors Championship for her 26th okay. provincial title. So congratulations to Colleen. So. What's the decision? What do you do here? Well, it was interesting because I thought that Jennifer Jones called for the tight guard. It slipped in. That meant that Saskatchewan could nose it and stay outside the rings and maybe go for their deuce in that case. It rolls in. So maybe whatever was intended at the start is now something different. Neither team has a choice at this point in time. You have to hit the enemy rocks in either case and uh, advantage Saskatchewan for the blank. What do you kind of weight do you want? Uh, ten's good. That was a hair sock. What yeah, kind of weight do you oh. want? <laughs> ten's great. Ten's good. Let's go. You got this. Just clean. Clean. You yep, pull a little. It yep. Clean in. Oh, okay. Yep. 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 Well, a little breather in some ways for both teams. So the winner of this game will go on to represent on, Canada on, at the Women's point. Worlds in Espierre, yeah. Denmark. And of course, we showed you the committee for next year's Scotties and Red Deer. And then, of course, there's the entry into the Canada Cup and the Continental Cup as well. So more than just the medals and the yeah. name on the trophy, yeah. there's a lot Hard. at stake yeah. uh, for Hard. a Scotties champion. Right up. That's okay, Tom. Two different styles. Uh, Saskatchewan go. had a chance Holly. to go around that tight corner. They thought about it, gave us the head fake, decided to run up and play the hit, which is consistent with their style. Jennifer now has the chance and consistent with her style. They're going to go around and try to force. Line's tight. That is the benefit of having up weight like Jill Officer can play really on that last line. one. If you just blasted it out, like really, really left hard. nothing in play, then Jennifer wouldn't really have this hard. choice. Hard 
Still Why officer. Caitlin Law is on ask him, just trying to oh. suck this around if they can. And okay. not able to. Try to. It has Nine been a half. struggle for Jill today on so some of the key shots. There you go. Clean. Just clean. Yep, six. Yep. Yep. Really hard. 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 Quick. Hard. Whoa, whoa. No. Okay. Right okay. on the nose. It's an interesting spot to be in if you're Saskatchewan, to my mind. Uh, De Ross, I mean, you... Yeah, okay, let's get the blank. We'll play from behind. We can get the guards up. It's a great situation for us in 10. But if the situation presents itself, can you, in fact, change Come in midstream yeah. here and oh, go yeah. for the deuce? Almost yeah. definitely. Oh, it's a, the oh, soft oh, deuce, oh, we call oh, it, where you, you yeah. kind of play yeah. defensively. Oh, but if you get a chance to make that no. hit and roll or a come no. around, you will. Really? Yeah. Sweet. So here we'll go. We'll find out if she wants to go for it because there is a guard in play. Oh boy, look at this. Still a 90? I think even 95 is close. Okay. Top eight. Yeah. A tight. Don't want to be behind the tee line here. Okay, okay. Nine, nine, we don't want to go over okay. six. Well then, stay close, line. Trying to Seven. go behind. We're all on our own. Clean. We never want to go. Yep, line. No, you're good. Seven. Only if we have oh, to. Oh, top eight only. Six. All right, deep. Kim Schneider. Okay. All righty. It's okay. That's the one danger because now Canada freezes <laughs> one in, and there goes the blank. If you go by the history, 10 years of looking at the stats of what position you want to be in, a team at the Scotties, one up without the hammer after nine, only wins 52% of the time. That's not much of a control position if you look at historically, 10 years starting in year 2000. That's why you're always trying to choose where you want to be. You gotta be to it. So you gotta be to it. No Kill officer, no we bounce. gotta, curl, you gotta go. Not. We feel good. No. No. Right to it. Right no to bounce. it right now. Out of girl, Kale. Nice one. Out of girl. And oh. just a little shy, but it is shot stone. Team Canada. Oh, For all intents and purposes, right the her. option no, of no, a no, blank has just gone out the window. Eight. So cool. now Saskatchewan is just forced to try to score their deuce. Chuck, We're Tammy sure. Schneider. Go, 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 You've go, got go. it, girls, if you can drag it there, and it's going to come up light. Sorry, Amber. There, and then I can't get it out, so. Yep. I like it. It's good here. I was a little surprised based on Amber's tendencies playing hits. For example, we mentioned it earlier when there was a chance to split the house and force Jennifer. It was a hit that was called upon by Amber's last. I was surprised she played the come around. I was surprised she didn't want to have that control coming home. And so uh, now a little bit of trouble. So it's still a five? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. Did you get Kim's? Yeah, she threw a 16 and a quarter. Okay. The worst part about the last one is it's staggered, so you can't really use it. It's well, another, either one of them are dangerous. I guess the outside one closer to the rim she could tap, but uh, like to be housed, probably out in the open. Jump it. Mine's hey, good. Got Jennifer over. Jones and Line's her left. first. Mine's good. Mine's great. This one's 
diving too at those overlap guards. Really big scrum trying to drag this one through and by, and they won't be able to either. Okay, Jen. Boy, oh boy, I been Linda, there, I mean, yeah. if you can get one around here for Saskatchewan, doesn't that put you in pretty good shape? certainly does. There's virtually, uh, the, there's raises, but it would be of the wrong color, so a great opportunity to get the deuce. Just want this high in the house. What's happening here in terms of, I mean, we saw Kim Schneider miss the come around. We see Jennifer now miss the come around. Is there something about this spot? Well, Kim was heavy on the first one, Linda, but I think uh, you're over in that quick spot uh, where we all talk about inside out. And as they go wider, keep coming up light here, they're going wider and wider and, and running straighter down that center uh, fudge area where it's a little bit slower. So a great opportunity now for Saskatchewan. Amber Holland. Down by one as we play in nine. Fully committed to trying to get the deuce. Stay close, Finish line. Line. Yep. Well, you can't Finish let it you crash can. here. Top four. Yep, go, and go, it go, won't. Go. We'll buy oh, the red oh, card. Oh, trying, oh, waiting oh, for oh, it to oh, bend, oh, hoping oh, it'll oh, bend. Oh, and they'll catch the top edge of the four for Chuck Stone. <laughs> Well, it's too bad. Uh, it's a Take very a nice a shot, but it didn't nine. finish as much. They could have brushed it, brushed it a tiny bit more because it is sticking out behind the guard. Yeah, I need to take it back some more for yeah. mine. Okay. I think we thought it was going. It's <laughs> firm. Yeah, you got it. Tricky little shot. It have to uh, to stop the jam. Yeah, you have to hit this awfully thin. Final rock for Team Canada, Canada. Jennifer Jones. Whoa. Here in nine. Whoa. Oh. Boy, ask an no. officer. Hasn't right laid a lick no. to it. Curl it Has hair. to be curl, thin. Curl, Is curl. it going to come up for her? Oh, and just enough. Oh. <laughs> and Jennifer Jones can good. breathe again. Tight. We had Massive to shot because now they have control coming home just by getting okay. enough curl at the last second. She threw the extra weight, remembering maybe that she's been a little inside on some of those outturn hits and wanted to play the pick, but that was a very tiny pick. Four foot, hey? <laughs> so full eight foot for the single to tie. 15 on our first round. Wee bit quicker spot. Four foot. Running a bit. <laughs> Mine's fine. Mine's great, all you. Look up. All you, you Heather Kalinchuk and Tammy Ready Schneider. All you to nurse this in for a single point Make sure. and a tie Make game. Sure. Thanks, though, Amber. <laughs> And to the pinhole for a single point. And now the Scotties Championship will come down to one end. Team Canada and Saskatchewan. Scotties, proud supporter of women's curling for 30 years. And to celebrate our 30th anniversary, we're giving away 30 pairs of sparkling diamond earrings. The Diamond Anniversary Sweeps Contest. Enter online at scotties.ca for your shot to win. Up here in the great wide north, the world thinks we just like to canoe or run around in our snowshoes. While that all may be true for the last quarter century, every spring here's what we Canucks really love to do. Roll up the rim. It's the 25th anniversary of Roll Up the Rim. You have a one in six chance to win a great prize instantly or even win one of 40 Toyota Matrix.
Hello, welcome to the brick. Oh, hi. My washer's pretty beat up. I think I might need a new one. Let me show you something. This huge capacity, heavy duty top load washer has a direct drive motor and three temperature settings. Now, inside, uh, you can see it's an old portion of the interior with dual stage uh, agitator, three load sizes, small, medium, and super. I like it. Let me try that front load over there. For Samsung, nobody beats the brick. Me and you, and you and me, no matter how they toss the dice, it has to be the only one for me is you. And M and M and you. So happy together. With the professional independent advice of a licensed insurance broker working for you, you can sleep easy. Insurance brokers don't work for an insurance company, and they don't sell insurance either. They choose your insurance with you getting you the right coverage at the right price and are there to help in the event of a claim so you can sleep easy your best insurance is an insurance broker Laws is in a unique position tonight. She has the chance to win gold as a member of Team Canada in her very first Scotties. But the fact that someone so young can compete at this level really shouldn't come as a surprise. I mean, just think back to last year's Scotties when Jerry Lynn Ramsey and Aaron Carmody, a pair of 20 year olds, led Prince Edward Island all the way to the gold medal game. Or last year's World Championships when a team of 22 year olds from Sweden gave Team Canada all that they could handle. Or how about the semi-final in Swift Current when a 19-year-old by the name of Eve Muirhead handed Jennifer Jones her worst ever loss at the World Championship. Here in Charlottetown, the next generation of curlers have proven that even without experience, they can compete with the world's best. And all week long, Caitlin Laws has been proof of that. And now Caitlin Laws and Team Canada are one end away from another Canadian championship. Tied at seven. Team Canada with the last rock. Saskatchewan will try and steal it and win their Bully. first. Scotty St. Sanders Murmur in 1997. Mine's good. I'd like it to curl a bit, but you got to go bite before. Well, bite before. it was a decision Amber made last <laughs> end to go for the deuce. Come on, when Kale. it didn't work out, she had to take the point. And now Jennifer Jones has that all-important last rock in her faster, hand. Faster, faster, faster. Go, 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 go. Good brushing. Oh. Great brushing Just to the top edge of the four on the stone from yeah. Don Askin. That rock has to be so perfect. If you're top 12, it's really a guard. If you're on the button, it's really detrimental. And uh, that's just about perfect. Got a better run at work. Switching goal if you have work? to. You're way out there. We're really tight. Well, then don't sneak. Are you in? Whoa. No. I'm on. Whoa. Yes. Set. Set. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they in. They are in top 12. Let's take a look at the game story so far. Well, it started so badly for Saskatchewan, and again, it was choice as a sweeping error included in that first end, and then the choice in nine for Saskatchewan to try and go for two. They couldn't get it. You wonder if that will be costly. Amber Holland with big numbers one more time. 10% oh, yeah. difference between the skips. The game story brought to you by the Dominion, Canada's trusted insurance company. There we go again, Linda. We, you and I have talked about it's straighter on the in turn coming home and even ends more curl on the out turn side when there's more curl the rocks traveling farther it's a little slower consequently down this straight side it's a little quicker Saskatchewan overswept the second one trying to throw a tight guard and then a complete miss on the straight side let's go Tammy let's go so don't ask it with the flash Tammy Schneider. Or three. 
Line's fine. We're all in our own. We're almost in. Now don't forget, you've got Are somebody you stepping up no. who's going to try some double peels. So you want to get yep, this as yep, best you line. can lined yep. up. Yes for line. Yes for line. Yep. <laughs> It comes down hard. Yeah. <coughs> what do you like, the long one? I think so. I think so. This, if you hit it thin, it just goes right on to there. Do you want to do just the one, the top one? You can come look at it. We got loads of time. Kind of like the high one. I like peeling just the high one, I think. The, the tight one? The high one. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. And then we can make she that comes around. Nice yeah. Okay. This one, Jill. Okay. The high one's not nearly as dangerous, other than it's guarding the dangerous ones. So you you could play the uh, outturn double on the uh, two close yellows. They've elected to play the straight peel. If it overbends, you can actually make a double peel. Maybe you can get them all. No. Wow. <laughs> That's fine. Got her out. Wanted it too bad again. <laughs> that was definitely not going to curl. <laughs> nice shot. So now Amber's trying to think through how she wants to position these Here, rocks. The yellow-red combination okay. in the rings is not bad for Saskatchewan. Definitely, you can tap it up, That's move the red one out of shot rock position. So at this point, she's actually going to guard her guard. And I like that, Linda, don't you? It's a, that's the rock that takes you to the button. And it also opens up the intern side for the tap, so you have two shots that way. Higher the better. Line's oh, get over. We've got to go, Olive, on this side. <laughs> go. Okay, the swingy side. Good. They don't want to over curl this. Over, 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 job, I over think. and line. They want to make You're sure over, it whoa. is over, though. Whoa. We're over. We're We've over. had a couple Whoa. of spots that have caught them for yes. weight. <laughs> so can she indeed be the first since Sandra Schmirler to win from Saskatchewan in 1997? Or will we see once again for a third straight year Jennifer Jones and Team Canada's name added to the championship trophy? Jill Officer. Skip's showing patience here. Saskatchewan showing patience in the setup, trying to leave their guard, their nice Don't tight really guard, know. in a good Just position two. and have Team Canada busy out front on the other oh, guard. And Jennifer there. hoping for two. a mistake. Let me hide. Okay. Line's pretty good. Sit. There are two. Sit. That's good, Kim. Not quite. Okay, good throw. Good call, honey. I thought she extended it. <laughs> nice rebound by Kim, a little deep uh, last end, and uh, those are tough under pressure. You know the ace is slowing down down the middle, and the last thing you want to do is put it a foot short of that blue line. line. Well, the Saskatchewan team has said they learned so much a year ago in Sault Ste. Marie when they went 6-5 we'll and five and missing the playoffs, and now here in Charlottetown, top of the table all week. Eight straight wins, finish uh, with a record of nine and two. I think they're playing the straight peel, but if they get almost to the nose, they can make the double, both yellows, into the one in the rings, and all three could fly. Caitlin Laws. Yeah! Whoa, clean. Nice throw, Caitlin. Nice throw. It does appear they're waiting to see if they get a tighter guard and one that maybe lines up better mm -hmm. for that double peel. 
Saskatchewan has to be careful to leave that in turn tap open. I like one more. Hey. Yeah, timing, Linda. You always talk about timing. So when do you go? When do you play something, maybe bump the yellow up? Quite often in this case, you will wait for Amber's shots because uh, playing against someone like Jennifer who has the upweight ability, if you do it too early, you give her too many chances to get in and get rid of your rocks. You might even well, see Jennifer uh, come in herself no, no, here. No, no, we're halfway for sure. <coughs> Kim Schneider threw a Whoa. very nice guard Whoa. with her first. Whoa. 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 Is this the mistake? Okay. You That's can fine. see okay. her there. Boy, Kim's just standing back there. <laughs> just okay. shaking her hand okay. and urging the stone to stop. Sorry, I'm a little tight. Yeah, well, and you were out there a bit, so it just kind of stayed on the good stuff, too. A little wider paths, a little, little farther. You have to be so careful. People wondered if Caitlin Laws no. would have the, the no. nerve no. to play in a Whoa. game such no. as this. And Whoa. Yes. Yes. Whoa. Whoa. More than enough. Run it back. Whoa. Oh, and just right. drives it by. Great try. Wonderful game <laughs> for yeah, Caitlin Laws. Good try, Caitlin. Now, Saskatchewan, what do you do? Well, they preserved that guard because of that little miss. I mean, both Caitlin and Jennifer He's thought it was on it, that they would get them both, but... Oh, no, so it's still out there for Saskatchewan. Just going to make sure there's a shot here. Yep. Mm -hmm. Then what do I do with that one? Then you'd have to corner it here, but she still has the slash. But she'd have to stick it in the call time. Yeah. These are way better. Yeah, the like the tap is an awful, but if you I don't get play. it there, yeah, yeah, you yeah. If you just tap it to here, yeah, yeah, then that's not good. Then you that's have to play tough. Bigger. I'm, I'm concerned about the line on that. Um, if we if we suck one in here, I don't think it's a bad idea. Maybe as a good option might be to bump that up and push that behind yeah. the T line. Yeah. Um, because I'm worried about. Though, if we didn't tap this far enough, then we don't have a shot on our last no, one. we've got to play to make the shot, I guess. And yeah. we've got to prepare, we've got to, prepare yeah. to have a shot. But just to have your yellows here, even if she just peels, then you have to tap, tap. Mm -hmm. You just got to get to three quarters. No, tap, we make, if we line it up, push. Push. But she might draw in on her next one yeah. then. Whatever you feel good about. I think I like the draw. I think I like the draw. I, I like the draw. Okay. So even if you're just here right that, now, right? then I guess I just have to come corner to this yeah. one. Get, get as much, the draw, get as much to here as we can yeah. around that one, you know, I guess. Yeah. I don't know, I think we'd have, have to play to, pretty yeah. tight. I think we have to do this now, and if she plays that now, then hopefully she rolls off, then we play If it. she plays that, we'll have this guard still, yeah. right? we'll have something. Yep. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, good job. We took here last time. Yeah, I think I need a bit more. Yeah, and as uh, Saskatchewan coach, Murph Fonger talks with his here, team, Jennifer right? Jones huddles with Earl Morris. Uh, Woo, hi, Tammy. Back by the coach's table. Decided to play that come around. It <laughs> definitely curls here, and that's the worry, Linda, as we've talked about before. It really curls here. They have to make sure they get it by, but they also don't want to line up this situation. So they could Almost have played the same spot you took through here in eight, down here, no, tap the yellow, get the red back here somewhere, yeah, and use it later. And that was Merv Fonger's Super choice, fair, the coach for Saskatchewan. So he wanted them to play the tap. Well, this is Amber's like choice playing the come around. Let's go. The Canadian Women's Curling Championship. The Scotties down to four stones in a 7-7 seven, seven tie. Mine's pretty good. Wait's pretty cold. Nimble in the four. Remember, five. this is Mine's that great. curly Mine's side. All you, there, it there, should there, bust there, here. And just go just sideways. Switch and go if you need to. Tammy Schneider on the right. Callan oh. Chuck yes. on Clear. the left. They left it. They waited. They left it. They wait for it to break. Can they get it there and up? They do. Perfect wait. It just didn't finish for her. Perfect wait. The hair is more tight. Wait, Amber. Yeah, it just didn't curl. No, that's the thing where she goes. Yeah. Yeah. It did go. Out there? Yeah. You got it, Jim. Tough, uh, tough that that didn't finish for her. It comes another foot and 
little more curl and that it not only would be partially buried, but that yellow red would have been tougher. Jennifer looking for a little inside roll. Hey, Jen. Just bumper. Yeah. Edge uh, to edge. As okay. much as it moves so I know here. this is actually real good. Okay, I like it. That center line guard just off center. Can't roll off, you guys. Does it present a so problem? Center. Certainly so does, Vic. Uh, there's uh, not a lot of room shot. here. They're throwing the quite a bit of weight. It's, it's end, tough so to tell. Stay with this. I don't know whether the inside rolls with uh, capable with this. No, it's not with uh, this type of ice. I think they're just trying to make it go away. Well, she started on the ice saying the roll, then said at the hack, edge to edge. That means there is no roll. Nose is what she's going for to force Amber into a very difficult shot. Jones in her first. Whoa, 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 whoa. No. Team Canada no. with last rock. Off. Right off. Seven, right seven. Off. Anything, Kaylin? Right off, right Anything? off, right off. Yes, okay. enough. Okay. That's fine. And then rolls the shooter away. And so then one more chance right. now for this round. Yeah. Wait, Saskatchewan and Amber Hall. Sorry, guys. So you didn't get the finish with your first one. To tighten up the ice a little bit as the crowd here has seen a wonderful game at the Charlottetown Civic Center. Okay. Well, Saskatchewan really have to talk about this one because the last one didn't curl, so they have to be very clear coming down the ice what the weight is like. Because there is a redstone biting the four, you can't leave this out for a pick. Once this goes too, it's hard for them to hold it, so they have to keep it out there as long as possible. Needs to be shot stone. Right now, Team Canada me. has their Three. win. Has another championship for Three. Jones. It sits top edge of the four. Okay, we can switch. Mine's fine if you need to. Mine's good, says Kim Snyder. Now it's starting to break. Now it's starting to go. Here they go, Snyder. Callen Chuck. Here they go. By one. Here they go. It has busted for them to the button. How good is that? You see Amber's look. Because it is so good. She's a little worried about the run back she's left. She was actually hoping it didn't curl quite so much. Yeah, or a little lighter. That's right. It's uh, you had to bury it or you lose, and you overbury it, you lose kind of thing. And it's uh, just a great shot. It, it, if that's a hair lighter, this yellow red's a lot hey, tougher. <laughs> this is of course why the coach wanted that red one gone he was worried about this potential but what a great attempt by Saskatchewan to put it in exactly the right spot Jennifer Smart taking very tight ice because we know it runs a bit here you got the adrenaline it's just so easy to overthrow their shot and anything high side you're probably going to lose so just dead on makes it So making sure that the running right. surface is clean. Saskatchewan and Amber Holland have done everything that they possibly can in a 7-7 tie. Caitlin Laws puts the brush down. Yellow onto red onto yellow for another win. Yep. Jennifer whoa, Jones. Whoa. Officer no. and Askin are backing oh, right no. off now. No. Don't forget yeah. they got to stick yeah. the red. Saskatchewan, Amber Holland will win the Scotties. <laughs> and for the first time, since 1997, as Larry Schneider comes to the ice surface, his two daughters are Canadian champions. 1997, Sandra Schmerler won the last Canadian championship for Saskatchewan. Please. 
the year it has been. When you think about Saskatchewan curling winning both the junior women's and junior men's championships and Jennifer Jones can only think now about the shot that got away the raised rock that got away and rolled too far. Saskatchewan is the winner of the Scotties in dramatic fashion here in Charlottetown. The 2011 Scotties Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by Scotties, proud supporter of women's curling for 30 years. in the cup. Introducing Volterran Emble Gel Joint Pain. It's an anti-inflammatory medicine that concentrates in the joints where relief is needed. New Volterran Emble Gel Joint Pain. Rediscover the joy of movement. Putt for a chance to win $100,000 in the White Ice Challenge. Brought to you by Odyssey Golf. Win a trip to the Tim Hortons Briar in London and putt on the curling ice during the semifinal for all the money. Go to whiteicechallenge.curling.ca to enter. Look, everybody wants the same things in a pickup. Yeah, you don't need a bunch of donut eaters at a focus group to tell you that. But only the engineers at Ford seem to get it. As they cranked out an all-new line of engines for the 2011 F-150 to give you the most torque, most towing, most horsepower, most payload, and you won't be put in a chokehold every time you fill up. Because you can also get the best fuel economy. Chew on that. This is the future. This is the new F-150. North, the world thinks we just like to canoe or run around in our snowshoes. While that all may be true for the last quarter century, every spring here's what we Canucks really love to do. Roll up the rim. It's the 25th anniversary of Roll Up the Rim. You have a one in six chance to win a great prize instantly or even win one of 40 Toyota Matrix. like cashmere. Me and you, and you and me, no matter how they toss the dice, it has to be the only one for me is you. M&M and, &M and you. So happy together. Before I got my Capital One Aspire card, I was buying everything at the grocery store just to get bonus miles. Stuff for the kids. <laughs> gifts. It's a 2009. Huh. Follow through! Even sporting goods. But now, thanks to Aspire, I get two reward miles for every dollar on everything I buy. The new Capital One Aspire card. Earn two reward miles for every dollar spent on everything you buy. Visit CapitalOne.ca. What's in your wallet? March Madness has a new home on TSN and TSN2. Huh. on both channels at the same time. The madness begins March 17th on TSN and TSN2. y'all can do now. The 2011 Scotties Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by Ford, official automotive partner of the Canadian Curling Association. By M&M Meat Shops, hundreds of meal ideas, one aisle. And by Tim Hortons Premium Blend Coffee, always 20 minutes fresh. What a night for Saskatchewan. They steal the Scotties with one in the 10th from Team Canada. Amber Hollins with Ryan. Amber Hollins, Scotties champion for the first time in Saskatchewan since 1997. What does this mean for your team? <laughs> it's great. Uh, I'm just so glad that 
we kind of stuck through it there. We had a really shaky start, but um, just guts to stay in it. Your first draw in 10, it didn't look like it curled as much as you thought. Tell us about your second draw in 10. Yeah, I just tightened up the ice a little bit, and then I think I was a little lighter so it could give the girls a chance to sweep, and then it cuts. So, uh, you know, I thought I went a little too deep because it was a better angle for Jen, but just bounced off and up. Just a quick comment on these girls you played with in this win. Yeah, it was great. It was just, you know, good shots. That's all you can ask for in a final. Enjoy it, Amber. Congratulations. Thank you. They are the Canadian Women's Curling Champions. Please welcome the Toronto Women's Scotties Turn of the Hearts Champions, Team Saskatchewan! From the Chrono Curling Club, southeast of Regina. Led by Skip Amber Holland. Third, Kim Schneider. Tammy Schneider. Heather Kalinchuk. Jolene Campbell and Coach Merv Fonger. They had said they learned so much a year ago. And barely able to hold back the tears. There's dad, Larry. Remember now the Schneider family, that long tradition. It was Larry and the brothers back in 1990 that won the Saskatchewan Men's Championship going on to the, the Briar that was eventually won, if I remember correctly, by Ed Warenick. It was the brothers, Jamie, Rick, Mike, and Larry. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome Mario Goslin, CEO of Kruger Products Limited, who will bring greetings and congratulations from Kruger. Ladies and gentlemen, Mario Goslin. Thank you. Bonsoir, mesdames et messieurs. I know that everyone who has watched this championship will agree that this 2011 Scotty's Tournament of Hearts has been an outstanding success. On behalf of all of us at Kruger Products, I would like to congratulate Team Saskatchewan. <laughs> for winning their first Canadian championship. As a Canadian company, we're proud to support our female curlers in achieving their goals and to showcase them to the world. We look forward to cheering on Team Canada at the World Women Curling Championship in Denmark. Since we first sponsored curling back in 1982, we have had the privilege to work alongside the Canadian Curling Association and to grow the Scotties Tournament of Arts into one of the premier women's sporting events in Canada. And we look forward to many more years of great curling. It takes a lot of teamwork to su successfully run an event of this magnitude. Our sincere thanks to Chair Kim Dolan and her dedicated volunteers <laughs> whose passion and hospitality made this Canadian championship possible. We truly believe the volunteers put their heart into the Scotty's Tournament of Arts. Thank you for everyone yeah. for your commitment in making yes, the 30th anniversary an overwhelming success. Merci beaucoup. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to call upon Nancy Marcus, a Corporate Vice President, Consumer Marketing, Kruger Products, to present Keeper Awards and Rings, while Kim Dolan, the host chair, presents bronze medals to our bronze medal team, Team Nova Scotia.
They had a wonderful week out of the Mayflower Curling Club in Halifax. To their coach, Mark Dacey. Mark Dacey, former Canadian champion, coaching his wife. To their alternate, Melanie Comstock. When you think about what they Their had lead. to overcome, Linda, by Terry losing Lane. Colleen Jones in December with bacterial meningitis, Their and then Bliss you know, Heather Smith Daisy thankfully had skipped once before Their here, third, but Parsons. stepped up and got a wonderful performance from three very and young players in Perry Lake, Bliss Comstock, and Daniel Parsons, and then earlier today winning that bronze medal game over Ontario, nine to seven. It's tough to shake up the lineup, but a very and now, determined and effort. And Nancy Marcus will present Keeper Awards and rings to our silver medal winners, while Jack Bowman, CCA board chair, presents medals to Team Canada. <laughs> Disappointing, to say the least, to for coach, Team Canada. Earl Morris. Earl Morris, who for the longest They're time was with Janet Rachel Holman who finishes fourth at this year's championship. Their lead, Dawn Arnett. Askin. Dawn Askin along with second, Jill, Jill Officer. Officer Caitlin Laws making a wonderful debut. Their third, Caitlin Laws. And, and Jennifer to their skip, Jones, Jennifer Jones. Who will now, if she wants to get back, for the first time since 2008, we'll need to win Manitoba. Has to go through Manitoba, and that's not an easy task. We now like to call upon Mr. Goslin who will present keeper awards and rings, while Jack Bowman presents gold medals to the Scotties Tournament Hearts Champions, Team Saskatchewan. Starting off with their coach, Merv Fonger. Why oh, he's worked so hard, Linda, as long as we've seen this team, he's been with them. He's a very dedicated coach. Jolene he's giving Campbell. them such great advice. Two of the best shots you'll see in any championship final played in the end Lee, of six and that last drop in ten. And it was a full team effort on both shots. What a great team and coach Second, this Tammy is. Second, Tammy Schneider. And now the Schneider family can celebrate Third, the Kim Canadian Schneider. Women's Championship ship as well, and Tammy and Kim. And what can you say about Kim Amber Holland, Holland, who's uh, dedicated her career to curling as the executive director of the Saskatchewan Curling Association. They are the Canadian Women's Champions. <laughs> Holland is going to Denmark. To represent <laughs> Canada. You were waiting a long time <laughs> for I that was. line, Vic. <laughs> They'll be great representatives as Thank well. You. The Women's World Championship to be played March 18th, starting March 18th in Esbjerg, Denmark. Thank you. And we will be there and, and now, bring and you daily Mr. coverage. Goldman will now present the Scottish Tournament Hearts trophies to our 2011 for the first time team Saskatchewan. since 1997. Saskatchewan will go on the trophy as Canadian women's curling champions. They came from all across the country to be part of the 30th Scotties Tournament of Hearts. And as you'd expect, Canada's smallest province were gracious hosts. The home team received the most support, of course. However, Suzanne Burt's last-minute charge for the playoffs fell short. But only one team can win the Scotties, and just because you're not on top of the podium doesn't mean you can't have fun. Everywhere you looked, there were smiles, a testament to the quality of people in the curling world. Kathy Overton Clapham won the most sportsmanlike player award, and why not? Her team won over a lot of fans here in PEI. Heather Smith Dacey had her husband Mark as coach, and it proved to be a winning combination as Nova Scotia won the bronze medal. And what more can you say about Team Ontario, the youngest team at this year's Scotties, and they played beyond their years and should be a force for years to come. And three of this year's competitors also had some extra company. Marie-France LaRouche, Sasha Carter, 
Jolene Campbell. They didn't make their most important deliveries here at the Scotties. You see, in the next few months, all three will become mothers for the very first time. So perhaps there were even more future curling stars on the ice than we first thought. Saskatchewan celebrate a Scotties win as Canadian women's curling champions, stealing it with a single point in 10 to beat Canada and Jennifer Jones, 8-7. Now a reminder, our next stop on the season of champions will be next Saturday from London, Ontario. We'll see Jimmy Grattan against Glenn Howard. That's when our coverage begins from the John Labatt Center. What a week it's been here in Charlottetown. Thank you to everybody. A special thanks to our crew who have worked so hard through some very trying conditions. Thank you for joining us. The Scotts Turnout of Hearts is here on Canada's Sports Leader, TSN.